Very good morning to you from America, New York. Very good morning to you. The Lord says, Start exactly your day and God bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord bless you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord favor you. The Lord cause all your souls to be turned into joy. Good morning to you. It's one minute past 11 a.m. In New York, America. Where are you connected from? I want to know where you are connected from. Where you are connected from. What is the time? You're going to have a good time. Very brief. Uh, I want you to be reassured and assured that God is going to distance is not a barrier. Distance is not a barrier. Distance. Okay, God bless you. So I want you to be uh, God bless you. Distance is not a barrier. If you love Jesus, I want you to share the broadcast. If you love Jesus, I want you to share this broadcast. If you love Jesus, I want you to share this broadcast. If you love this, uh, God bless you. If you love Jesus, I want you to share this broadcast to as many people. Share it into groups. Share it into your WhatsApp groups. I always tell you that be a partner to the kingdom business. Be a partner to the kingdom business. As you are sharing, you are partner to the kingdom business and Jesus being heard and the words of Jesus being 
uh, trumpet. Let's enjoy this. We'll come back again and we start a session. The person said Chicago. I want you to type again. I, I saw something about it before coming on air. The person said Chicago. The Lord gave me a word for you before I came on air. I came to Chicago. In the last 30 minutes, I came to Chicago in the realm of the spirit. And I had a word for you. The Lord told me somebody will come on air from Chicago. From Chicago. I have a word for me. Say it again. Let me see things about you. Say it. God bless you. Say it. Say it. Say it. Somebody type Chicago. I want to talk to you. I want to see something. Type it again. Please type right something. For me. favorite songs again good morning to you and let's pray let's have let's pray father we thank you we bless you for this session this hour will bless you i bring myself before the cross again i pray that you me to be a blessing unto your church unto your people and any man and woman that is supposed to be connected to this broadcast live father i subpoena them here i subpoena them here by the power of the holy ghost bring them here and do what only you jesus can you do. Use this session to bring hope to the hopeless. Use this session to remote and fix people. Use this session to direct your men and women. Father, let the prophetic be activated. Let ministerial angels come on assignment. And Father, move like never before. Distance you, Jesus, Holy Spirit, the four living spirit, the seven living creatures. It's not a, a problem. It's not a barrier. I pray that visit those in Nigeria, in Africa, in Ghana, Asia, America, UK, every part of the world, anybody that is connected, Lord, use and move. We are before you on the third day with our fasting and praise. I pray that any, every petition, plea, and supplication that is brought to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I pray that you grant it and have respect for it in the superior name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So again, my name is Master Prophet Naito Gezi, and on this platform, instruction is very important to us. Because this is not a regular platform, this is a platform of God. And we listen to instructions, and I want you to have respect for this platform, and I want you to have respect for the utterances and inspirations that will come. I want you to use the images. I'm a prophet, I'm not a pastor. And with a prophetic, you have to provoke an atmosphere, create an atmosphere. So I want you to use the images whilst I'm about to start preaching and teach for about five, ten minutes. Use the images where the word is connected to your life. Type amen, connect with, because distance is not a barrier. Uh, this is one of the, my favorite songs I used to pray with, and I still pray with it when I was believing God for the prophetic. That's one song that, uh, if, if you're in Ghana, if you're, in, if you're follow, you used to follow Channel R. This was one of their leading songs. This is, there was the song of the station. And, and, and here, I want us to enjoy, and after enjoying this song, let the song minister to you. 
let the song minister to you. And after the song, I'm going to discuss, I'm going to use 20 minutes. And please, I salute all the media people in Ghana, Hail TV, all my handlers. I salute all of you. God bless you. I want you to time me exactly 20 minutes. I'm come to preach and teach for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, I let me that Papa is 20 minutes. Then I move on to prayer. We have about seven prayer points we're going to pray on. And after that, I'll move. Today, I'll pray for people who are sick. I'll pray for people who are sick by the Spirit of God. And then I'll lead people to Christ. And I'll give opportunity to sow a seed. And after that, I will also, within that, that space, prophesy as I am led. I want you to share the broadcast. And I see a lot of you online. And let's enjoy this. We'll come back again. <laughs> you so uh this the media in ghana please the, this song should be copied and we're going to use it as a the slogan for the slow if there's a word like that i, I just want to make the point so as we get it uh, so i will use it for jabez cry that will be the signature song for jabez cry so pin it down get it down uh jabez cry this is going to be the the signature song of Jabez Cry. We start with this. We played about three times. The one we have, I'm about to end Jabez Cry. Every time we play this song, I want to be identified with this song. So, God bless you. And again, good morning to you. Ado, I've seen Ado from Chicago. The Lord has given me a word. The Lord has given me a word for you. 
in my last I just I just woke up and I, I came to Chicago the Lord gave me a word the Lord said somebody will come live from Chicago and the Lord gave me a word so stick and stay with us be on be on be on stick and stay with us be on be on be on be on be on there is something that something must happen for you i'm not seeing physically in the land of chicago but i saw something i'm going to tell you something and stick on stay with me let me finish exalting the body of christ and after exalting the body of christ we'll come to the prophetic it's not a prophetic first it's not a prophetic it's the word of god first of course the prophetic is the word of god but i pray if you join just join us i'm nigel gazi i'm the human fan of prophetic Hill church in ghana we have a lot we have branches in kaswa branches tonight kaswa will be having service tomorrow amasama will be having service tomorrow god willing okay today is thursday so today amasama I didn't get feedback from Kaswa yesterday, so I want to know what happened in Kaswa yesterday. Uh, today, Amasama will be having services, and tomorrow, uh, Tema Branch will be having service in the uh, Comte 4, inside the Mozama, inside the hospitality building in the Mozama area, Comte 4, around the Mozama Junction. We'll have our branch service there. And Sunday in Accra, Ghana, 15 Green Hill Street Domain, we'll have our, our set service. It's going to be awesome on Sunday. God is ready. Ministry angels are ready. Assigned divine elements are ready. And I'm always praying for all of you in Ghana. And I'm excited that I'm seeing majority of you online. God bless you. Okay, somebody just sent me a message. I've joined. Somebody said that I've joined. A UK person just sent me a WhatsApp. I've joined you live on air. God bless you so much. So today is the third day of our five days fasting and prayers. We'll be refreshed and be reminded that tomorrow too we are fasting and tomorrow I'll be in Florida. God willing, tomorrow I'll be in Florida. So the address will be pinned. I want you to follow. Come and let's enjoy ourselves in the presence of God. And tomorrow we are fasting. Tomorrow to our come live and Saturday is the last day of the fasting, and we're going to have tokens on Saturday. Everybody get a bottle of oil. Just get a bottle of oil on Saturday. We're going to have a good time. So, again, there is a topic I began yesterday, and I didn't finish. And I want you to write your pen. Get your pen and paper ready. Get some notebook ready. Paint something things down. Write certain things down. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord be gracious unto you. I pray that whatever I've lost over the years, the Lord God will give it to you. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will be gracious unto you. If you are listening to me in the offices, watching me in offices, every any part you're watching me at home, we are 109 views, 107. God bless you. God bless you. So uh, if you're watching me at home, in the car, everywhere you're watching me, welcome, this is the barrier. So this hour, I'm dealing with overcoming satanic limitations. Overcoming satanic limitations. Overcoming satanic limitations. Overcoming satanic limitations. So somebody will ask that, prophet of God, master prophet, what is a limitation? What is a limitation? And uh, what is a limitation? What is a limitation? A limitation is a hindrance, barrier, or, or that thing that impedes maximization of potential. So a limitation, overcoming satanic limitation, overcoming satanic limitation. What is a limitation? A limitation is anything that restricts you, anything that, that denies you, anything that restricts you, anything that hinders you from maximizing your full potential, from maximizing your full potential, from maximizing your full potential. Don't forget that. Everybody has a potential. You were born naked, but you were not born empty. You were born naked, write down, down, write it down, pin it down. You were born naked, but you were not born empty. So nobody is useless. Even a dirty water can quench fire. Even a dirty water can quench fire. A dirty water can quench fire. Sometimes when there's fire, fire outbreak. When fire, fire, there's fire outbreak. Dirty water can be useful. Regardless of how dirty you are, you can still be useful regardless of how dirty you are regardless of your background regardless of the color of your your your, your the color of your skin regardless of your age regardless of your your orientation and background you can still be useful in the hands of the porter you can still be useful in the hands of god so i came here we are talking about dealing with satanic limitation 
there must not be any limitation in your life. Matthew chapter, the Bible is speaking the other day. It says, seek ye for the kingdom of God in Matthew. And after you have seek ye the kingdom of God, it said that all other things shall follow you. In the kingdom I represent, I'm an ambassador of this kingdom. The kingdom, I'm a messenger and a leaset man and a general overseer of a puppet that represent the kingdom, of an altar that represent the kingdom. In this kingdom, there are no limitations. In this kingdom, there are no restrictions. We have only few restrictions, and that is the restriction of we not committing sin, of we not committing iniquity and transgression. And even with that, grace is made available. And even with that, mercy is made available. And even with that, there is a babbling blood that is always interceding on our behalf. So overcoming satanic limitation, there must not be anything that you should allow to limit you. DRS you. You got you must not be limited. Personally, you must not be limited. From within, you must not be limited. Around you, outside you, outwardly, you must not be limited because you are born and purchased by the precious blood of Jesus. I don't care the village you are watching me from. Maybe you are watching me from Navrongo, the deepest part of a village in Navrongo. Maybe you are watching me in Haiti. You are watching me in Havana. Maybe you are watching me in Mexico. You are watching me in Jamaica. Any part of the world you are watching me, you are a breed that cannot be limited. You are a breed that language cannot limit you. You are a breed that the color of a skin cannot limit you. You are a breed that financial disaster, financial instability, financial recession cannot limit you. You are a breed that whether you went to school, you didn't go to school, it cannot limit you. Education, yesterday I told the church on, online that education is good. I believe in education. I will wish about all things. As Apostle Paul told Timothy, that he should study to show himself approved unto God. He must study to show himself approved unto God. You got to say that, bless God for education. But whether you go, you were studied uh, informal or formal, education must not limit you. I am talking about overcoming satanic limitation. What you are not conscious of, the devil can take advantage of that and impede the will of God in your life, impede the permissive will of God in your life and impede, impede as it were. We have the permissive will of God and, and, and I'm here here this morning uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus from New York to tell you somebody that child of God man of God that ministry cannot be impeded there cannot be limitation to the extent at which that ministry can flow to the extent at which your giftings can can cut across the length and breadth of the nations of the world so I've explained to you what limitations are limitation is anything that does not allow you to as it were maximize to be useful, to be productive, to be fruitful. And I'm here in the name of Jesus on the authority of Scripture to come and tell you that you were wired by God. You were redeemed of God. You were redeemed uh, remnant of God that nothing can limit you. A witch cannot limit you. Rumors cannot limit you. Scandals cannot limit you. What the devil does and anything in the devil cannot limit you. You are blessed and you will sit above principalities. You are blessed, you sit above diseases. You are blessed and you sit above all the negatives of the devil. I want you to understand that. You are above, you are above, you are above. The Bible says that he that is from above, he that is sent from above, is above all. You are from above. I don't care the name of your mother. I don't care the village you come from. Maybe you are like Elisha of Tesbite, that nobody knows knows your mother, nobody knows your father. I don't, I thank God for that. I praise God for that. You are not the first person, you're not going to be the last person. But one thing I'm sure of, one thing I'm here to encourage you is that that must not limit you. What, that must not limit you. Today, maybe there's no money in your pocket. When you look into your purse, you look into your wallet, there is nothing in it. Listen, it has happened to all of us before. You're not going to be the first, you're not going to be the last. But that must not limit you. That must not limit you. The Bible's Speaking in Jeremiah 43, verse 11. It said, Jeremiah 44, verse 3. Jeremiah 4, verse 3, sorry. It said, For that said the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break your fallow ground and sow not among tongues. Listen to me. You break your fallow ground, sir. You break your fallow ground, sir. What is a fallow ground, sir? The fallow grounds are the impossibilities, sir. The impossibilities, you, you systems have made you accept, sir. Religions have made you accept. 
accepted. The books and the thinkings and the logic of men have made you accepted. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 3, it said, I the Lord, it through me, you break that says the Lord, that to the men and of Judah, to the men of Jerusalem. What is Judah? What is Jerusalem? Judah and Jerusalem is the same. In the olden days, we have Israel was divided into two sections. The northern sector, their capital was Judah. And in the southern sector, their capital, uh, no, the northern sector, their capital was Samaria. And the northern sector, in the, in the, the northern sector, their capital was Judah. That it was the northern sector, their capital was, was Samaria. And the southern sector, at a point, their capital was called Judah. But later on, it was changed to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. What is Judah? Judah means praise. Judah means praise. What is Jerusalem? Jerusalem is a place of peace. Jerusalem is a place of perfection. Jerusalem is a place of righteousness. Jerusalem is a place of perfection, completeness, absoluteness. And the Lord said, wherever you are, that is your portion. Wherever you are, that is where you are supposed to be. He said, tell the men of praise. Tell the woman of praise. Tell the woman of satisfaction. Tell the woman who are at a point and a location of completeness that I, the Lord, I will help them to break their ground. Sir. I see somebody breaking her ground. Sir. I see somebody, they say you can't travel. I see you breaking that ground. Sir. I see somebody, they said, man of God, they said that nothing can come out of you. Nothing can come out of your well. Sir. Nothing can come out of your ministry. I see you breaking the well. Sir. Tell yourself, type, I am breaking the ground. Sir. I see prophetic whole church, the men and women connected online the men and women assigned to our covenant uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I see you do in the name of Jesus breaking limitation. Uh, you are a limitation breaker. You are a limitation breaker. You are a protocol breaker. You are a line crosser. You are not just a spectator. You didn't come to, to, to spy on people. You didn't come to be one of the spectators. You came on earth released and bought and, and redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. To become a player, I see you be a major player in your, in among your siblings. Sir. I see you become a major a major player among your friends. Sir. By the righteousness of the Lord Jesus, sir. by the audacity of Scripture, I see the church playing a major role in the affairs of the world. Sir. I see the church of God across the world playing a major role in politics, in commerce, in in, in every sector of the of, of the world. Sir. I see the church of God taking over. I see the prophetic breaking follow breaking follow ground. I see the church, the prophet in Ghana, breaking grounds, breaking grounds, breaking grounds, breaking grounds. I see you breaking grounds. The one the doctor said you can't conceive. I see you breaking that ground. I see you breaking that ground. And I'm seeing a twin come out of you. I see a triplet come out of you. For your sorrow, the Bible says, the Lord said, I shall double it for you. He said, for your delay, the Bible said, I shall speed it up for you. That says the Lord. For your shame, I shall restore you back to your glory for your shame in the book of lamentation uh, lamentation 3 verse 10 it says uh, it says, i have perceived and seen that there is no justice in the court of men i have perceived and seen that there is no justice in the court of men but i the lord in my court there is justice I, I see justice prevailing on your behalf i see the lord justifying you i see the lord helping you to break limitation where your mother couldn't do where, where your mother couldn't achieve where your mother couldn't go I see the Lord helping you break that ground. Uh, what your elders couldn't do, I see the Lord helping you break that ground. Uh, you are limita you are limitation breaker. Every limit in the bloodline, I see somebody breaking it. The limit in my paternal background, I see grace coming on me. I see grace coming on me. I see the force of grace backing me to break it in the name of Jesus. The men in my family, they don't do well. The women in my family, they don't do well. Their marriages don't last. Their children die young. Their children die while they are, they are, they are, they are sucking breasts. Their, their, their nursing mothers die. Their, their, their women in labor die. I am seeing my children. I am seeing my nurse of Canaan. I am seeing the men and women connected to my life breaking that ground. I see. I fell in my eyes. I fell 
feel it in my spirit. I, I feel it in my ears. I, I feel it all around me. That there are some of you online, you are breaking the lines. Uh, you are crossing the lines. Uh, you are breaking the protocol. The spirit of boldness is coming on you. The spirit of force, aggressiveness is coming on you. That spirit of bulldozer, that spirit that will make you a trailblazer, that spirit that will make you be a peace setter, that spirit that will let you rewrite the history, that will let you break the evil records, uh, that will let you break and rewrite the history. I see that spirit come on you. I see that spirit come on you. That Gideon spirit come on you. That Eunice and Louis spirit come on you. That Deborah spirit come on you. Receive the spirit of impartation. Receive the spirit of aggressiveness. Receive the spirit of boldness. Receive the spirit of holiness. Receive to break in the name of Jesus. Tell yourself, I'm a breaker. You are going to be, I said, you are a breaker in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says that in Psalm 24 verse 7, every gate of limitation in my life, every listen to me, child of God, the Bible says, oh God, listen to the word of the Lord. Listen to the word of the Lord. Second, first, second Timothy 1 verse 7. Second Timothy 1 verse 7. It says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. In any of you, anybody online right now, who is in the fix? I see the Lord fixing it right now. I see the Lord fixing it right now. I see Jehovah God fixing it right now. Prophet Sophia, God bless you so much. I see Jesus fixing you. Don't be troubled because God is fixing you. Don't be troubled because God is fixing you. Don't be troubled because God is fixing you. The angel of God are on assignment. The angel of God are released right now. Ministerial angels are being released to wherever you are. And evil foundation that are holding all of you on, that your fellow ground cannot be broken that limit is being broken in the name of jesus listen to, to the word of the law as that says but so any essence seed of oppression limitation for my bloodline that sabotage i don't know in the name of the lord jesus the lord favor you this morning the lord be gracious unto you this morning hear me child of the lord we are talking about overcoming satanic limitation and i'm giving a three point how do you become over how do you become how do you overcome satanic limitation how do you become how do you overcome satanic limitation number one live a holy life number one live a righteous life the bible says that sin is a reproach sin is a reproach sin is a reproach sin is a reproach how do i overcome satanic limitation number one live a holy life number one live a holy life for the spirit of jesus is a spirit of righteousness live a holy life live a holy life what is holiness holiness is a place that you stand and your place is bequeathed and exchanged for the place of jesus so the bible says in jeremiah chapter 9 it said that let anybody not glory anybody that glory let him glory that he knows the lord this morning this afternoon this evening depending on wherever you find yourself i am giving a special invitation that accept jesus as your lord and personal savior love him worship him serve him let him be the lord if somebody is your Lord, that means that person is your master. If somebody is your Lord, that means that you take your instructions, you don't do anything with that team. Listen to me, child of God. How do I overcome satanic limitation? Number one, accept Jesus as your Lord and personal savior. Number one, live a righteous life. Who is how do you become live a righteous life? When you accept him, you become righteous. Righteousness is not the act of doing good or bad. Righteousness is positional. Righteousness is positional. Righteousness is being conscious of Jesus. Righteousness is being conscious of Jesus in your life and trying to follow the teachings and the practices of Jesus humanly possible. When you do this, you overcome family patterns that eat the, the, the fabric of the family. When you do this, the Lord gives you exemption and you overcome satanic limitation. How do I become overcome satanic limitation? Be righteous. What is the righteousness? Accept Jesus Christ as a gift. Accept him in your heart. Accept him in your heart as the Lord and your personal savior. Have no other God except Jesus. Have no other master except Jesus. I have only one master since I was I became born again since the age of 14. I accepted him. He's my righteousness. He's my everything. And I put on the garment of righteousness. I want you to accept him. I'm giving this privilege of invitation. This is the best invitation that you can ever have. That in, when you come on him, you put on the garment of righteousness and the holiness. And you do better. What kills the family will not kill you. 
The Bible says in Mark, the book of Mark, it said that tell my people who come to me, the people that accept me as their Lord and personal Savior. The book of Mark chapter 1, the Bible says, said, tell them these are tread upon scorpions and scorpions cannot harm them. These are drink poisonous and toxic substance and they cannot kill them. For I, the Lord, I will be with them. I, the Lord, I will be with them. So put on and accept Christ, Christ Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, not as your colleague, not as your friend, but as your Lord and personal Savior, as your master, as your master. And when you do that, you overcome satanic limitation. The day I accepted Christ is one of the best days in my life. I always tell God, I always tell people, I always tell the body of Christ in the church of God, if I get opportunity, like I've got an opportunity, that the best thing that has ever happened to me is accepting Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. He has done me good and I've enjoyed goodness out of him and I'm still enjoying it. So that is the first thing. Accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior for he is our righteousness. Number two, how do I overcome satanic limitation? Believe, 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 believe. Just becoming a born-again child is not enough. 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 A lot of people are Christian. A lot of people are born again, but they don't believe enough. They don't believe God enough. They don't believe God enough. You got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe. You got to believe. You have to be a believer. You have to be a believer. Believe that what killed your mother will not kill you. Believe that what killed your siblings will not kill you. Believe that what destroyed the bloodline cannot destroy you. Being a believer, being a believer, you can be a religious person without not believing. I want you, number two, how do you overcome satanic limitation? You got to believe that you are the head and not the tail. Believe the word of God. At Mark 10 31, it said the first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. Believe the word of God. Believe the word of God. Believe. That is why we are called believers. That is why we are called believers. That is why we are called believers. If you are listening to me, wherever you are watching me, if you don't believe, the Bible says in Chronicles, it said that believe the Lord thy God. Believe the Lord thy God. Believe the Lord thy God. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God that in your dark, God bless you. I'm the head and not the tail in the name of Jesus. Paul, this also God bless you. Nana JB. So you got to believe. I believe that that cancer will not kill you. You will become a victim of what you believe. You become the evidence of what you believe. I don't believe in poverty. I was listening to Bishop Oyadipo. He said, I can never be poor. And I asked myself, that how can a man take the place of God and say that I can never be poor? Then the Holy Spirit rebuked me. And the Holy Spirit said, don't you know that you are God? Don't you know that the book of Exodus says you are God? You are my incarnate. I created you in my image. Believe that you cannot be in Africa forever. If you want to be in Europe, if you want to break somebody from Europe, God is going to help you. When you believe, you become. When you believe that you'll be great, you'll be great. When you believe that you are little, you'll be little. You can, nobody can address you. Nobody can believe in you. If you don't believe in a lot of you, you've lost focus. A lot of you are depressed. You are despair. You have lost confidence in yourself. This hour, I came as a prophet of God. My name is Nigel Gacy to come and tell you that. Believe that it's possible. Believe that it's achievable. Believe that it's attainable. Believe, child of God, you got to believe. If you don't believe it, you cannot overcome it. Believe that God is going to help you. I've seen people in my ministry. I've seen people in my ministry. Psalm 27 verse 1, 7. He said, the Lord is my strength and my life and, and my soul. My heart trusts in him. God bless you. I have seen people in my ministry. I have seen people in my ministry being healed with cancer. I know the doctor said there is no cure for cancer. But I'm not quite more brain We believe the impossible. We believe in the impossible. We believe in the impossible. Psalm 28 verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my my. My shield, my trust in in, in black. Give me a, 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 another version that is similar. Praise the that is simple. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me, child of God. Communications when you understand it in an easy way. Believe that my mother's children, nobody has ever, nobody's head is lifted. But I believe that God is a lifter of head, and I believe that my head shall be lifted. If you believe, you will overcome it. If you believe that you have been divorced, but you marry again, it will come to pass. Believe in the impossible. 
possible. We serve, you don't serve a dead God, you serve a mighty God, prophet Sophia. Believe that this Friday is going to be awesome. Believe that your children will not be vagabond, they will not be prisoners. Believe when you believe you overcome. I believe when I was in that village that one day I'll be a master prophet of God. I believe. Nobody believed for me. Nobody believed for me. The Bible says, listen to me, people of God, the book of Mark, the Bible says, Mark chapter 1, thereof. the Bible says, and when the Lord God, he came back from there, when they crucified him, Matthew chapter 27, 28, the Bible said they killed and crucified him. And when they crucified the book of Mark chapter, Mark chapter 1 says that, and he re, he revealed himself to Mary Madeline. Mary Madeline. Who is Mary Madeline? Mary Madeline was an unrighteous woman, but the Lord did not reveal himself to righteous people. He revealed himself to unrighteous people. So don't condemn yourself. Grace is not for righteous people. Grace is not for righteous people. Jesus did not come for unrighteous people. He came for sinners like you. He came for sinners like me. He came for sinners like you and I. So believe that in him we live and have our being. Believe that in him we have our longevity. Believe that in him we have our self, our protection. Believe that when we are in him, we will live long. Believe that when we are in him, no devil can stop us. We believe that when we are in him, nothing can condemn us. The world will condemn you. Men will condemn you because they know about your past. But I thank God they don't know about your future. Ladies and gentlemen, how do I become overcome satanic limitation? Believe, believe that you are a champion, believe that you are a lion, believe that there's a lioness anointing in you, there is a lion anointing upon your life. Believe, believe, believe. I believe that my ministry will be upon one of the days I was coming from Israel, and in the plane, the Lord told me that my ministry will be all over on the on the continent on the earth. At that time, there was no sign. At that time, there was no sign. At that time, we were in the hotel building, but I believe the word of God. And today, by the message of God, we are in our own auditorium, and I still believe that that is the beginning of greater things to come. If you believe, if you believe, so if you believe that this sickness that kill all the family people, I believe that I am immune by the blood of Jesus. I believe that I'm set apart by the power of the Holy Ghost. But the Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 7, it said a thousand shall fall, a ten thousand shall fall, but it shall not come near us. It's only our reward, it's only the reward shall we see. If you believe the word. I have believed the word. I believe the word. When I got, uh, when I was coming, I had a lot of promises here and there. But I don't trust the promises of men because I know that men will fill me. But I believe in God. The Bible says that in the gift of man is an open door for him. Proverbs chapter eighteen. So I believe the gift on me. I believe the gift in me. I know it's an open door for me. I thank God for whoever want to help me. I bless God for whoever want open door for me. But I believe the word of God. I believe the word of God over the word of every man. Child of God, I've come here to encourage you. Believe God that it's possible. Believe God that two years from now you might be in America, you'll be in Asia. Believe God that your dreams will not die. Believe God that your dreams will not shatter. Believe God that your aspiration will not be shattered. Keep on keeping on. Keep on pressing on. Keep on believing. The Bible says in the account of Hebrews chapter 11, the Bible says, and Abraham believed, the fathers of faith believed, and the Bible says it was accounted unto them as righteousness. I want you to believe, Sister Gifty, Sister Patrick, Brother Patrick, wherever you are, believe. I want you to believe. Alice in, in his writing friend, God bless you, Alice. I don't know wherever you're connected from. I believe Nana Kwame it will come to pass. He said, I believe I'm getting a Canadian visa. Believe it will happen in the name of Jesus. Believe that you will live long. Believe that that sickness will not kill you. May those who try to kill me be humiliated. God bless you. May my dreams will not be shattered. Mama JB, that is it. You believe. So when you believe, you will overcome it. When you believe, you overcome it. Believe that I'll be present this morning. The Lord revealed to me the Ghanaian lesson. And I don't know why the Lord keep revealing to me revealing to me. I believe Proverbs 18 verse 16, a gift, a gift, a gift open the way and also the gift uh, bless you. So I trust and believe that all things are possible. Like I, I like I always said, don't stop believing. God say God bless you. Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. So like I said, you believe, you believe, believe that I'll give it. 
Believe that my children will not die. Believe. How do I overcome satanic limitations? Believe. Believe that I will not be a victim of the wicked household wickedness. I will not become a victim of household wickedness. I believe that I'm a different prophet among the Ghanaian prophet. I believe that as the Zimbabwean prophet have taken all over the world, they built jam and they are doing well, filling stadiums. I believe that in the fullness of time, God would push me to that realm. I believe that my ministry, my prophetic grace, my sermon will touch every continent of the world. I believe. I believe, I believe whilst I was young that I'll make it among my mother's children. And I still believe, I believe among the men and women on earth that I am different and God is with me. I believe. So when you believe, you overcome. Believe that you pass the exams. Sitaness, Antinus, believe. Christopher, Osir Bediako, I want you to believe. Pamela, I want you to believe. Pamela, I want you to believe. Believe that the ministry will do well. Believe that the church will do well. After COVID, churches are in crisis. But believe that you will do well. Timothy 4 verse 10. That is why we labor and strive. Because, because we have put our hope in the living God. Who is the savior of all people. Especially of those who believe. The Lord will save you. Is it that you want a baby? Believe that God is going to give it to you. Is it that you will believe in God for healing? In my ministry, the HIV AIDS have been killed. In my ministry, cancer, tumor has been killed. Believe. So I'm going to the last point. How do I overcome satanic limitation? Believe. 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 You are a believer. I don't listen to me. When all men are cast down, the Bible says we shall say that there is a lifting up. Child of God, man of God, don't die before your time. Believe that God will restore you again. The Bible says in Joel 2.25, it said, Ask 16 verse 10 to they reply, Believe in the Lord Jesus or you will be saved. You and your household. If only you can be saved. Uh, I thank God for your life. God bless you. Romans chapter 10, minister Elijah. Elijah say, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Yeah, I want you to believe. It is all about belief. I believe that my ministry is, is one of the best ministry that is touching life, saving souls and helping humanity. I believe Daniel 11 verse 32 be, but the people do, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. So it is all I believe. I'm happy that the second point has been made and, and it has sunk very well. Believe. I thank God for what men are saying about you. Believe that God is what is God. What is God saying? What is God's opinion? What is God's opinion? What is God's opinion? I thank God for the opinion of our accusers. I thank God for the opinion of our 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 our, our enemies. I thank God for the opinion. But what is God's opinion? Let me tell you briefly in the next one minute. God's opinion about you. God's opinion about you is that you are the blessed of him. God's opinion about him is that he will restore you back. God's opinion about you is that you are above and not beneath. God's opinion about you is that you are soaring above and it can never go down. God's opinion about you is that your mistake, your imperfection, your sins, your weakness have been covered. God's opinion about you is that by his well, by his stripe, you were healed. God's opinion about you is that he will keep you and he will defend you. God's opinion about you is that open your mind why in some eight uh, he will fill it for you god's opinion about you revelation 3 verse 8 he said i the lord i know you with your little might and your strength you have kept my name so i the lord have opened a door ahead of you there is a bigger door ahead of you and it is a better door and not a bitter door there is a better door that is the opinion of for those who believe god i want you to that day when the man of god rose at apostle paul he said my brothers and sisters uh, this is the jesus christ that was crucified by the romans uh, and giving to the soldier to crucify. But today I present him to you. Unto he, anybody that believe in him, he shall be saved. And unto those who believe in him who are sick, they shall be sick, they will be healed. And unto the poor that believe in him, the gospel shall be preached to them. And unto those that are depressed and are, that they that are, they that are demon possessed, they shall be liberated and set free. This morning, what do you believe? I want you to believe. Believe that your mother's family cannot kick you down. Believe that your background 
believe that your background cannot put you on the ground. If you are Papa, God bless you. Dockers, God bless you. Pamela, God bless you. I believe that your background, your background cannot put you on the ground. Believe. So how do I overcome satanic? How do I overcome satanic? How there, I mean, there's a bigger door about to open for my family. That is it. God bless you. You love your wife, you love your family. God bless you so much. So you believe. Righteousness is not a nation. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. Righteousness is not a by sin is a reaper. So that is it. So the second point is that you believe. Listen to me, beloved one, dearest you. I am from a very poor family. My mother sells cassava. My mother sells salt. My mother sells tomatoes. In one of the lowest villages in Accra, one of the lowest villages in Ghana, believe that you are a winner. Elon, believe that you are a winner. Elon, believe that you are a winner. Prophet Richard, God bless you. But listen to me. In the village where there was no light, I believe that one day I'll come to Europe. And I came to Europe by the grace of God. I believe that one day I'll come to UK. And I came to UK. I believe that one day I'll make it to America. And right now I am in New York. I believe that one day I'll be in the White House. I believe that one day CNN will come and interview me. Al Jazeera will come and pick my thing. I believe what you believe, you overcome limitation. Limitation will limit you, those who are not confident, those who are not confident, those who are not bold, those who don't have their zeal, those who are not aggressive, limitation will limit them. I want you to be bold because your boldness is the spirit of righteousness. I've told you that when you come into the kingdom of God, you are a liar, you are a lioness, and you are untouchable, you are untearable, you are untouchable, you are undestroyable. No power that is functioning against you work as I chapter 54 says that I made the ghostman I made the instrument of the ghostman but no power believe that it cannot be stagnated forever listen to me they can delay you but they cannot deny you because your life is in the hands of God your future is in the hands of God where you are going is in the hands of God so when you believe you overcome when you believe, media God bless you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord. Plans to prosper and to not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and everlasting life. God bless you. I want you to be bold. Be bold that you will not die. You were born naked. You were born naked, but you were not born empty. God bless you so much, King Kaka. So I want you to believe. The last point, the last point. How do I overcome satanic limitation? How do I overcome satanic limitation? Seek for knowledge. Seek for information. Seek for knowledge. Seek for information. One of the devices the devil uses against the body of Christ to limit us is ignorance. It's ignorance. I want you, in the name of Jesus, I want you to give yourself to information. I want you to give yourself to the reading of the word of God. The Bible speaking the other day, I see be quiet now. God bless you. God bless you. How do I overcome satanic limitation? How do I overcome satanic limitation? The Lord bless you. Share the broadcast. You are there. We are working out in the name of Jesus. How my life is in the hands of God. How do I overcome satanic limitation? I want you to share the broadcast. I want you all over the world, wherever you are. I want you to over share the broadcast. This is the third day of fasting and prayers. I am bold and great. God bless you. So listen to me. The fear of man lays a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is saved. God bless you. I believe you will do well. I thank you so much. Give to you in the name of Jesus. So watch me. The third and the last one, how to overcome satanic limitation, is that number one, give yourself to information and knowledge. Give yourself to information and knowledge. Give yourself to information and knowledge. We are in the... I want you to share the broadcast wherever you are. Share the broadcast. We are bold. We are bold. Be please share the broadcast. If you are shared, I want you to share again, Benjamin. I'm, Benjamin, you are covered in my oil. You are covered in my covenant. Rest under my covenant. Rest under my grace. Rest under my mandate. In the name of Jesus, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. So watch me. So I'm saying that. We are both like our father, the master prophet from Ethiopia. A hey, reverend Steve Owusu, God bless you. I'll be in Ethiopia. What is my date? Write my date down for me. If you are watching me in Ethiopia, I'll be in Ethiopia right now. My son, the prophet of God, I want you to put your address, man of God in Ethiopia, where you have your service, all the people in Ethiopia. I am coming to Ethiopia. Give me the address and the date right now in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. The last point, how do I overcome satanic limitation? Number one, give yourself to information. Give yourself to give yourself to information. Give yourself to the reading of the word of God. Joshua chapter 1. The Bible says, And the Lord commanded Joshua, and he told him that so far as you read this word, so far as you meditate on this word, so far as you keep this word, Reverend Steve, this is the first time seeing. God bless you. God bless you. 
And I study to show yourself, 2 Timothy 2, verse 15. It says, study to show yourself approved unto God. So I want you to understand you're a great prophet, Jesus. God bless you. Let's focus on the word, all the praise and glory to Jesus, know me. Solomon Ofori, my classmate in Legon, God bless you. I want you to share the broadcast right now, wherever you are. Share the broadcast right now. Bless somebody in the name of Jesus. Hear me, child of God. Listen to me, child of God. Listen to me. How do I overcome satanic limitation? Those who are not educated, those who, if you are not informed, you'll be deformed. 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 If you are not informed, your destiny will be koshoko. If you are not informed, your destiny will be dysfunctional. Man of God, if you are not informed, ministry will not do what? Three things make ministry. The anointing of God, information and knowledge. And the last one is money. If you like these three things, you cannot do well as a man of God. If, as a child of God, one thing that is critical and cardinal and prudent and expedient and noble is that you subject yourself to the reading of the word of God. You subject yourself to the reading of the word of God and buy and fall for the word of God. Don't fall for the fake news. Don't fall for the fake news in the world. Don't fall for the fake news in the world. Don't fall for negativity. So you got to be informed. If you want, you are going to be, yes, if you are not informed, you'll be deformed. God bless you. If you are not informed, you'll be deformed. Yes, I want to be a prophet. What do you know about the prophetic? My ministry is prophetic ministry. What do you know about it? My ministry is apostolic ministry. What do you know about it? Evangelical. What do you know about pastoral? What do you know about it? I want you to, everything you do, get understanding, get wisdom, get knowledge. The Bible says that, Listen to me. The, the, Daniel said that the people that know what they are God, underline if that scripture is sure. The people, Hebrew 4 verse 13, for the word of God is alive and active, and alive and alive, alive and active, sharper than any double sword. It penetrates even to the marrow, blah, blah, blah. You understand? So we are feeding you with the word of God. On this platform, we believe God bless Tina Tete, God bless you. Be, be, feed yourself with the word. Feed, be knowledgeable. Every discipline you find yourself, be educated about it. Call men and women who are on top on respect to knowledge. And sometimes I call, I call my IT people, and I tell them to educate me about IT. I, I don't know. I'm a prophet, yes, but that is not my field. My field is the prophetism. Mindful, let's share the broadcast of 300 right now. You can do it. Share right now. God bless you. Good greetings from New York. I call the media people. I tell them, look, educate me. The camera, how do I do it? And they educate me. When you have seen me here, when I came, I've seen in America, everybody does, everybody, everybody, nobody relies on somebody. Nobody relies on somebody. When I came, they were giving me courtesies, this and that. No, I said, I want to learn your system. I said, I want to do things myself. The first day they came to fix the, the whatever, whatever, the laptop, everything for me, I learned it. Now I do it myself. They took me to the airport. When they took me to the airport, blah, blah, blah. When I was coming from Atlanta, I said, no, nobody should come and pick me. I picked Uber. I came. So knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. When you get yourself informed, you'll be better. The reason why you are still aware you are, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7, wisdom the principal to therefore get wisdom with all the answer. God bless you. The reason why you are still lacking in life is because Josh. Joshua, keep this book of the Lord. God bless Joshua 1 verse 8. Listen to me. Knowledge is power. And power is power. So, child of God, you got to save for knowledge. When you got knowledge, you overcome. When you get knowledge, the difference between the developed world and Africa, especially West Africa, is because, and when I'm talking, I understand because I've gone to nations of the world and the different culture, the different experiences, I preach with it. The difference between America and West Africa is because majority of the people are knowledgeable. They are knowledgeable in the right perspective. They are knowledgeable when it comes to the Ghanaian media platform. This is insulting that. That is insulting that. That is fighting that. That is negative knowledge. That is negative energy. You don't need that. So the last one I'm establishing to overcoming satanic limitation. You know, what you don't know, you become a slave of it. What you don't know, you become a born servant of that. I want you to subject yourself. When was the last time you even read about current affairs? When was the last time you even listened to good news? It's not those loud news. When was the last time you have to listen to news? So as you know what time is it? 
you have to read current affairs so as you know what time is it when the last time you, you bought a newspaper you got to know what time is it you got to know you got to know what is even the exchange rate you don't know the exchange rate you want to spend dollar you want god to give you dollar and pounds but as of today do you know the exchange rate what you know you become what you know you become what you familiarize yourself with if you want to spend more dollar have dollar around you think about dollar know more about dollar yesterday when i came i asked somebody please can you educate me about stock markets can you educate yes i'm a prophet but i don't know much about stock market i am not economic student then a person called me. It's a prophet. Because when I was coming, I saw I saw stock markets. And 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 I was asking myself, what is the stock markets? And I saw it going, coming, going, coming. And I said, Can you educate me about stock markets? And the person has educated me that if you even put about two thousand, one thousand dollars at the stock market, it, it gives back. So now that is why I'm talking to you because somebody has told me, somebody has been educated about stock markets. Listen to me. Some of you are even married. You are not educated about marriage. You are not informed about marriage. You have no information, extra information about marriage. All that you have is your womanhood and your breasts and your manhood. And that is it. No, sir. You got to know contemporary times of how to marry and blah, 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 like that. So I'm ending here by telling you, child of God, that you have to seek for knowledge. Because the difference between, I'm different from my parents' children because God is with me. God bless you. God can be with you, but if you are not knowledgeable, You'll be a foolish believer. You'll be an unwise believer. And God, I refuse to be ignorant. You lack of knowledge, my people, parents, you know, God bless you. You have to be knowledgeable. When I see people who say that, oh, I went to this man of God, and this man of God took me to the seaside and slept with me. You see, I, if I was a judge who would deal, who would deal with that case, I will, I, will, I will sentence the woman who gave herself to be slept with. Because if you are knowledgeable, you know that no true man of God will take you to the seashore. Somebody say, oh, this man of God exploited me. If you are knowledgeable and wear base, you will not be exploited. It's because you are, you are, you are weak. It's because your mental fricatives are weak and you don't want to subject yourself to good knowledge. This morning, this afternoon, seek for knowledge. I look at these young guys who are coming after us, and, and, and I ask myself, that who are they following? Because we follow somebody for knowledge. We follow. We follow. We, I am sitting here. I'm following someone. And I follow him assiduously. But this generation, they don't follow anybody. So they will not know anything. They will not know anything. Knowledge is power, and it gives us wisdom. God bless you. Paul this also. A politician... How knowledgeable are you? I was asking myself, I asked the Uber driver that brought me from Newark to, to New York, that, uh, please, our politicians, when they come to America, are you sure that this is the same place they come or there's a different America? Because if it's the same America they come and how they are running Ghana and the other African nations, especially the Western African nations, God will deal with them because they have done great disservice to us, the citizens. This is water. 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 It's because somebody is knowledgeable. Look at the package alone. This is water. If you are selling, get knowledge. If you are a media practitioner, get knowledge. If you are a church administrator, get knowledge. If you are a resident pastor, get knowledge. If you are associate pastor, get knowledge. If you are head pastor, get knowledge. If you are a general church member, get knowledge. Don't be limited. The greatest strength, according to studies, is your mind. Stretch your mind. Open your mind. Don't be common. Don't settle to be common. Get knowledge. If you are a mother, if you are a father, let your children go to the best schools. Give them good education. Give them good education. Knowledge. Knowledge is power and power is power. When you are knowledgeable, you will be a step ahead of your contemporaries, acquaintance and associates. The reason why I'm bold, I speak to presidents, I speak and all the media people want to follow because I am knowledgeable. It's not just anointing of God upon my life. I study. 
I'm knowledgeable. The English, the doctor can speak. I'll speak the same English or maybe even better. I have colleagues that are lawyers. When they speak, I can also speak because I'm knowledgeable and I'm not, knowledge cannot be learned in a day. I'm still learning. I told you, I've given myself from now to Saturday, I will study and finish the whole book of Mark. I've learned the Bible cover to cover over 22 times. But again, I had a vision last week and the Lord asked me, how much of my word do my people have? And I said, no, I got to wake up again. I've started reading the Bible all again. I started from Lamentation. I finished reading Lamentation. The whole book of Lamentation. It just says chapters. I'll finish. I'm now on the book of the book of Mark. I'll finish it by Saturday. I'll finish reading the whole of the book of Mark. When I finish, I'll go to another chapter. Child of God, seek for knowledge. Read. Isaiah 11 verse 12. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel of mind. The spirit of the knowledge. The spirit of the knowledge. Sometimes there's this young man that I called him. Proverbs 4 verse at the beginning of wisdom. is yeah, God bless you. I'll bring upon God bless you. There's this, let me put it this way. See, if you don't have knowledge as a man of God, you'll be making mistakes and time will catch up with you. When I began ministry, I didn't know certain things. I was attacking people, attacking. Listen to me. Everybody had his assignments. Pastor Benny, his assignment is different from assignment. Prophet Opokunsi, our father in the Lord, his assignment is different from assignment. Maybe his assignment, because his assignment is not like my assignment, I might see something I'm doing and it's not doing and I'll attack it. No, you're making wrong. There's a young guy who is preaching now. And he's attacking everybody. Follow your assignments. Be knowledgeable and, and follow your assignments. Leave everybody. The Bible said to everybody an assignment given. Wisdom is a principal key. Wisdom is a principal key. So focus and get wisdom. Get knowledge. The Bible says that his garments shall be on the shoulder. And it's an increase in wisdom and knowledge, Isaiah. He said, his garment, he said, unto us is a prince born. He said, his name shall be called the Prince of Peace. And it's an increase in knowledge. Sister, you are dumb. Some of you, you don't want to be receptive when they advise you. When you see wisdom, you run away from wisdom. That is why you life with what it is. At your age of 45, any man that comes your way, oh, I want to marry you. I'm going to talk to my pastor about it. 45, you want to be married and somebody has come. You are going to pray about it. You are, you are a joke. Knowledge must tell you that give the man the opportunity. Just check the medicals. Make, make sure the two of you are going to the hospital to do your medicals and there's no problem. There's no viral problem. Start something. Give yourself an opportunity. Some of you, you have stagnated and limited yourself out of ignorance. Please, the person who is calling me should stop calling with a greater respect after I open the phone lines right now. I know a certain, I know somebody. The, the person is boxed with antiquated, antiquated behavior. Medieval behavior. She doesn't want to come in terms with modern, modern knowledge. Modern knowledge. Man of God, if you're even running your church like the church of 1979, you people will not come. Some men of God, they are still preaching about Samson and Delilah. Nobody's interested in Samson and Delilah. We are in 21st century. When I came here, Tesla, there is a car called Tesla. Everybody is driving Tesla in America. It has no fuel. So if you are still there and you not upgrade yourself, where God is taking you to, then the now version of you cannot accommodate it. Do you need a higher version of yourself? That my sons and daughters listen to me. My handlers listen to me. Where God is taking us to, the visions I have, the now version of us cannot take us there. Let's upgrade ourselves. Upgrade. Seek for knowledge. You will not die by knowing more. You will not die by asking to be educated. You will not die by asking to be briefed. 
The president of Ghana every morning must be brief, must be educated, must be informed. I dealt with, by the grace of God upon my life, I'm open to, to some of this thing because I have encounters with them. Every president will be brief the day, uh, on, uh, if it's today, the president of Ghana will be brief, the CDS will brief him, the police head will brief him, all of them will brief him about the security situation, the economic management, they brief him. You, you, the brief you have is 1982 brief. You are not educating yourself. You are not reading anything online. When you come on Facebook, the people are fighting. The people are fighting. This woman is fighting. That woman is fighting. They call it bill. They are the people you waste your data on. Learn, steady, steady, child of God, steady. Breathe, breathe yourself. Don't be paranoid. Don't be myopic. Open yourself to knowledge. Open yourself to knowledge. My classmate, Akosia, and him, Nora, God bless you. How are you? Greetings from New York. Nora is my classmate from Abuakwa State College. Proverbs 18, verse 15. The heart of the descendant acquires knowledge. For the ears of the wise take it out. God bless you. Knowledge, one thing I observed when I was in the plane, all the white people were, were holding storybook. All the white people, they were holding storybook. And the black people were gossiping. The black people were gossiping. Child of God, this is not a racist comment. Let's seek knowledge. Knowledge will let you step forward. <laughs> Knowl what you don't know of, you become a slave of it. Seek knowledge if you're a musician. Seek knowledge on your faculty, on your discipline. If you're a church administrator, don't be 1984, 1966 church administrator. Address yourself. Go on the internet. Modern church, trending church, first class church. Learn. Go on the internet and learn. Don't sit down. Learn. I learn. Every day I learn. I learn. God bless you. The Lord show you mercy, great revelation. Yes, my name, God bless you. Refuse to be damned. Some men of God are damned. Their messages are damned. The fact that you are reciting the Bible does not mean that you are preaching the gospel. The gospel must reform people. Some people hear the word of God and it's, this, it's monotonous. Everyday prayer, everyday prayer, everyday prayer. What is that? Listen to me. If you're a man of God, especially if you're a young man of God, your times will not be like our times. Right now, a time is coming that when people come to church, they will not bring the Bible. They'll just come with their phone. Anything you say, somebody has preached it before and they'll compare. I am telling you, when it comes to America, I'm almost every, listen to me people, if you are still joking, know that, that what, the world is not waiting for you. We are sitting in jail. Wake up and say for knowledge. If you're a married woman, if you're a married man, what does my wife want? What does my life, my wife, no, say knowledge. Your sons and daughters, when they come back from school, listen to me. What? Yes, yeah, the gospel must reform people. God bless you. Yes. Yes, I'm a, the gospel must reform people. Some people, they will, no, 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 sir. No, sir. Especially the prophetic church. We are losing members because we don't preach big message. We don't preach big message. What does Pastor Otabel and the rest they preach? Balanced message. And we want our churches to be like their church. Bishop T.D. Bixman, like their churches. Knowledge. I'm ending here. Knowledge. The young guys. Don't follow rubbish. Because I pity you people and your generation. Because your generation is going to be more complex than my generation. This is the time, young man, who still have time on his hands, Tend it to show yourself approved. Read the Bible. And after that, read extra biblical accounts. Time is, this is a timely message for me. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Daniel. Yabwa. Yes, read. Read. Be knowledgeable. The questions my son asks me. I go like, is it, is it 10 years? There's somebody online right now. He caught the husband cheating because his five-year-old son 
listen to me. His five-year-old son told the mother that I think that our house of, and mention the house of name, is dating daddy. Listen, the five-year-old son no dating, dating. So if you are there and you still think that this young boys and young girls are not knowledgeable, they will come and they will, you, they will come and hire you. For I, I had a sword of my life. When I saw Madeline told me, listen to me, people of God, the little children who are coming, the type of thing they are being taught in school, they ate it deep. So if you don't educate yourself, and you see, if you are not valuable, you cannot be sellable. Why are you online? You're online on my page because I am adding something. And that is knowledge. If you are not valuable as a believer, being a believer is not enough. You have to be a valuable commodity. You have to be valuable. How do you become valuable? Zainab, God bless you. You become valuable. Zainab Bugis, God bless you, Zainab, in Sierra Leone. You become valuable as a result of knowledge. How much more of the word of God do you have in you? How much, if you, are, if you study economics, are you on top? If you study linguistics, are you on top? Your morphology. Your morphology, your phonology, your syntax. Are you on top? Your concord. Are you on top? Your, your language structure, your word structure. Are you on top? If you study botany, are you on top? If you're a media practitioner, you study PR, are you on top? The PR you studied 19, 2000 years ago, the year 2000 PR. You have to still upgrade. When you upgrade yourself, limitation leaves you. You overcome limitation when you upgrade yourself. Some of you married women, even the panties you are wearing, you got to upgrade it. Your bedroom garments, you know, I'm the only person who will tell you. Your bedroom garments, you see, they are better laundries, new modern laundry. Spice it. You are still wearing, you put towel around you, dirty towel around you, and your husband will leave and go and cheat. Upgrade. Upgrade. You are too damp. You are too damp. Your mind is damp. That's what it's after prayers. You have to say for waste of knowledge. Some of you are not smart. Some of you are not smart. Some of you are not knowledgeable. You don't take risk. You are not smart. You got to be smart. Opportunity comes and those who are knowledgeable, those who are smart, you got to be smart. Upgrade yourself. Sunday after the first service. Sunday I had three services in, in Atlanta, Georgia. After the first service, we were fasting. They took me to, God bless you, I'm connected to wisdom. No, God bless you, sir. Good afternoon. You are the reason I love to read the Bible. Your grace is from above. Uh, Javino, love you. God bless you, Javino. The Lord bless you. Listen to me. They took me to a Ghanaian restaurant or African restaurant, Ice. Great, powerful, nice place. And a lady, beautiful lady, she walked to me. A lot of people were there. She walked to me. She said, Prophet, can I have your number? And I said, Take, I don't have a number yet. I, 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 that was a white lie. I don't have a number yet. I gave my, the guy who they said, assigned to me, I gave him his number. And he called. He said, Prophet, somebody's owing me and I wanted to pray for me. I said, I'll pray for you. Papa, papa, papa. Yesterday she called. He said, the person has paid. He said, I want your number. I gave her my number. She sent me $1,000. Listen to me. A lot of people were sitting there. She walked to me. Some prophet, hey, holier than that. Holier than that. Oh, I'll not talk to her. I'll not give. No, no, sir. You have to, be, you have to open up. Certain men of God, are not. they don't even open up. I'm ending the message. And if you don't listen to wisdom, you'll crash. Listen to me. Prayers are not enough. Righteousness are not enough. I'm a righteous man. I live a righteous life. It's not enough. Some of you, eh, your mind is too rigid. You are too rigid. That is why you are still in Ghana. If we were to open up a bit, you wouldn't have been aware you are. You are too rigid. That is why you are still single. You are too rigid. That is why you are sick. You are too rigid. You are too rigid. You are, you are just simply rigid. You, are, you see, we are two types of constitution. Rigid constitution and flexible constitution. And according to Framers of destiny and good market structure, they tell us that the flexible constitution does well than the rigid. If you're a rigid believer, Jesus will come. 
Rapture will come. You will still not enjoy from it. Listen to me. I've come your way to teach you how to overcome satanic limitation. Number one, be righteous. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Number two, Number two, what did I say number two? You will crash if you don't say for wisdom. That's right. God bless you. Believe. That is number two. Number three, seek for knowledge. If you are rewrite to write, rewrite it. Listen to me. God bless you. You will crash if you don't say for knowledge. God bless you. God bless you. Listen to me. People of God, listen to me. Pure fire, God bless you. Listen to me. There's a guy I know in America here. He's a nurse. He came to me. He's a nurse. And after the nursing work, he will rest for two hours. Go and do Uber. Uber. And then he said, Prophet, I'm picking up IT court because I've seen that now IT is the way to go. I, 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 and I said, why? He said, that is, that is what it is. Only at Tinaho, na maintain your answer. See me, you see, the Bible says that we are people that are trusted. I'm a trusted prophet. Because I'm not a prophet that is at one place. I'm a very exposed man of God. And I've met people. I've met languages. I've met civilizations. And I'm a spiritual man. Sister, if you are still damp, nobody will marry you. If you are still medieval in behavior, in thinking, the anointing will not work. You have to pick up a course, pick up that course. But God is not going to bless you without know you working. I keep saying that. The, the, the legal way of God blessing you is that you are working. A miracle can happen. I'm going to that change him and God bless you. A, a miracle can happen. God can bless you. That is a miracle. But the legal root of God blessing his people is that when you are working. So he told the Israelites that why would the people whom God loved so much in, in Egypt, why would God tell them that they should go and work? God, the, God has a, the, this system, this worldly system has a, the way it works and it's not going to change because of you. It's not, some of you in Africa, you like itty bitty and humble. It's not going to change because of you. Work. Sister, get, peel your toe down and get something to do. Pick up a job. When I came to America, people are doing Uber. Old men are doing Uber. Old men are doing door to door. A, guy, a man brought me cappuccino. An old man. I, 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 not, I, I felt sorry. You are a young man there messing up. And you, you are a joke. Nobody, no, nobody has your time, sister. Nobody has your time. Nobody has your time. The people you see them doing well, they are doing what I am teaching you. Listen to me. If you follow these teachings, your life will be reformed. Your life will be better. Don't follow people who are not going anywhere. We have some people they are not going anywhere. They are not going anywhere. It's just a matter of time. They'll crash. They, we have some people, no solid foundation. They'll, it's just a matter of time. It's a, they are, but to the benefit of the, of, of the weather. So I'll leave you. My, my, my administration, they didn't tell me. I know it's past 20 minutes. They didn't tell me. Don't just come online and no, no, put it into action. If you are working as a young girl, if you are still single, don't pick up just, I'm going to tell the next president of Ghana, go, go with it. I'm going, to, I'm going to suggest to them that they should run the economy of Ghana on 24 hours basis. They should run because Ghanaians, we can do it. We are not lazy. I'm going to push that agenda by the grace of God. That the Ghanaian, if they are listening to me, the authorities of Ghana are listening to me with the greatest of humility. Let's run our economy on 24 hours. 24 hours economy. Let the economy turn. That 12 hours we sleep, people can go to work. When it comes to America, the economy is being run on 24 hours. Every hour the economy is working. Every hour the economy is working. So you don't go to a hospital and say that the, the doctor has closed. When one doctor closes, there's another doctor. Let the black man learn. Let's learn knowledge. Let's learn. Let's learn. 
So you don't go to the watcher base. So if you go to the watcher base, somebody comes says to maybe 12, then another person comes says 12 to 6 p.m. Then another person comes 6 p.m. to 12 midnight. Another person comes 24 hours, 24 hours. Let's run the economy. Let's run our businesses 24 hours so our God can bless us. So our God can bless us. That people are saying that there's no job. There is a lot of massive unemployment in Ghana. We can run the economy of Ghana and everybody will be employed and everybody will be doing well. Our streets will be fine. Our cities will be fine. Our pregnant women will be saved. And all the youngsters, to a larger extent, they'll be okay when we seek knowledge. Let's learn from the British. Let's learn from the Americans. They are running the economy 24 hours. Why do you run your private business 24 hours? But the public sector, which holds the book, you don't run it 24 hours. That is this. That is disingenuous. People have told you. If you pick it, to help you. If you don't pick it, it's your life. You see, to, I'm, I'm excited about it. I see a lot of young men on, online. Let me tell you in one minute. Listen to me. If you're a young man and you are, uh, you are sleeping, yeah, when was it? I think two days ago, I called... Our pastors, I call some of them around two one. They were some of them were sleeping. Some pick the call, and this time I'm going to call you my pastor. If you are my pastor, I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you at dawn to see whether you are learning at dawn or you are praying at dawn. You keep on sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Keep on sleeping. If you are my pastor, keep on sleeping. Don't learn. Don't learn. It's your life. I keep telling all of you as a prophet. I'm, we are like wind. You see us today, tomorrow you see us at a different place. Listen to me, people of God. You have slept for far too long. The limitation can be broken by some of these three points I've been inspired to teach you. Listen to me, child of God. Some of you have no business at where you are. Let your energy count. Let your time count. Be productive-minded. Be fruitful-minded. Be money conscious. Be money minded. That what I'm doing is it going to give me money? Is it going to be? Is it, is it going to be? Is it going to be beneficial? And it is all about knowledge. So I'm done. If you pick it, God is going to bless you. If you don't pick it, too, the options are yours. I am praying that you not be a borrower. You be a lender. I am praying that your children will not serve other people's children. Your children will be independent and assertive. Young man, do something with your life. You can buy, listen, by 27 or 26 years, I had about 10 cars. Yes. About, I think, by 26 or 27 or maybe 28 years, I had about 7 or 10 lorries. You know what I did? Anytime I go to Sri Lanka to preach and they give me a dollar, I don't eat the dollar. I don't spend the dollar. I put it somewhere. And I made it a point that because every two months I was in Sri Lanka, Zana Bugis is online. I love today's message. God bless you. I'll never be a borrower. God bless you. Don't just say it with your lips. If you don't put action to it, you'll be worse borrower. Listen to me. What I did was that the, one of my women who helped me, when I, she's my mother, Zana Boogie, she's online. Zana, I salute you. Thank you, you and your husband. God bless all of you. Any dollar they gave me, I gave it to this woman to keep. Every dollar. And I was going to Sri Lanka in the interval. Every two months, I was in Sri Lanka, Freetown. So maybe in every two months, if I'm, if then, if I'm making, maybe every two months, I'm making like $5,000. It can buy, and that, and that was present for first time. It could buy, there's a car called 800. It could buy two of 800. And I bought it. At the age of maybe 27 or 28, I had about 10 lorries working for me. Then I move on, started buying Sprinter. Then I move on, there's a taxi that came, a small car that came, called Match. It's called Match. I bought about seven Match. Listen to me, people of God. If you don't live life intentionally, if you don't live life calculatively, I don't care about your, the hours you pray, you still fail. If you don't save for information, 
Like I am giving you by the inspiration of the Most High God. People of God, I don't care. Your children will serve other people's children. And that is not a portion of the righteous. So I appreciate you. If you take it, God will distinguish you. If you don't take it, I will still be your prophet. I will still lead you. One day the Spirit of God will help you. So wherever you are, it is the third day of our fasting and prayers. We're going to pray right now. And after the prayers, I'm a prophet. I'm going to prophesy. That's my gift. That's my gift. So true. Zainab Koroma. Thank you, Zainab. She said, so true. Any money they give me, I give it to Zainab Koroma. She is online. I save the money. And everything this woman told me has come to pass. When she saw me, she gave us a place to stay. She and uh, a man called Dr. Chambers. And he said, Prophet, what I'm seeing in you, you go all over the world. And that time she gave me a watch. She said, oh, this watch. You have plenty. To the young men and women, take your time to be raised, to be trained. And take this advice. We are still taking advice. Some of you, divine helpers come in your way. And you do live life the way you want to live life. And I tell you that there are certain opportunities that God creates that when it leaves you, it will not come again. Yes. Some of you, the Lord will touch the heart of somebody to help you. But you, you will not fall for it. So I brought you the word of God. The Lord bless you, the Lord favor you. Pamela, how are you, Pamela? I don't understand French, Pamela. Again, Zana Bugi, Sri Lanka, God bless you. I'll be in Sri Lanka the last week of November this year. It's going to be awesome. God bless all of you. Paul is also God bless you. So, uh, Pamela, I can't read French. So, if you can write in, in English, I'll be excited. And I wanted to, uh, we've done one or 44 minutes. We're going to pray for 15 minutes. And I'm going to use the rest to prophesy for the Spirit of God and pray for all those who are sick. Watch me. I want you to, as it were, open your mouth and bless Jesus. Give him praise. Give him glory. Adore his name. Use the emojis. God bless you. Use the emojis. 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 I want you to use the emojis right now. I want you to use the emojis right now. I want you to open your mouth. Bless God. We're going to pray. We are praying right now. Open your mouth. Bless God. Give him praise. 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 I give you time. I give you time. I give you time. I give you time. I Right now, I want you to open your mouth and ask for forgiveness of sin. Open your mouth, ask for forgiveness of sin. Open your mouth right now in the name of Jesus. As you have asked for forgiveness or sin, we are praying, we are telling God that, Lord, let every limitation of our life around our life be broken. Open your mouth and pray, people of God. You are telling God, Psalm 20, 24, verse, every gate of limitation in our life, our family, our busy career, in the name of Jesus, be broken. Open your mouth and pray. Leave a lava, 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 leave a
Father, in the name of Jesus, every limitation of my life, every limitation around me, you broke in my fire. In the name of Jesus, we are praying the second prayer in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. Every old structure that wants to limit my destiny from be, we are telling God a lot. Every structure, every system, every institution, every order, every law that seek that 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 have been assigned to limit us, fight us, hinder the will of God in our life, hinder our dream, our vision, be broken, break, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray right now in the name of Jesus. Break! 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 In the name of Jesus, God bless you. We are praying. We are praying the third prayer. We are telling God that every evil foundation that limits the family, may the Lord exempt us. Every evil foundation that limits the family members, the bloodline. Oh God, limits me, limits, that will limit me. Exempt my head, exempt my name, exempt what is mine. Open your mouth and pray, people of God. Every 
completion and catch it and break it. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, in the name of Jesus. Every dry line and portion, yeah, 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 in the name of jesus we have two more prayers we are telling god a lot anything our forefathers did lamentation says our fathers have sinned and they are no more and we are bearing the penalties there we are telling god a lot anything our forefathers did which is an account uh, in where the devil is using that to f- level against her, fight against her. The Bible says, and when Onesimus got to Jerusalem, Apostle Paul said, he said, let his account be, de- be be cleared off and let him be accredited into my account. We are telling God that anything the devil is using against us, the Bible says that the wife of just the, uh, uh, the wife of Pharaoh it was holding the garment of Joseph. Any token the devil is using, any legal ground the devil has in our life, which he uses to limit us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus to speak for us. We plead mercies to fall on us. We plead mercies on our head. Open your mouth, clap your hands wherever you are. Pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Clap your hands and pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray in the last prayer. We're telling God that may He cause us to live long. May anything in us that will kill us, anything around us that will take our life, that will make our life short. May the Lord exempt us. May it be bluted off. May it be bluted off. Any sickness in our blood, any sickness in our systems, any sickness in our water system, in our and our blood system, red blood cell, white blood cell, in our ligaments, in our bones, in our breasts, in in, in our brain, in our head in the three chambers of our life our body the head the 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 the, the stomach structure and the lower structure in the mighty name of jesus we blew it up let mercy write off the sickness let the blood of jesus write off the sickness any sickness that have been shot in us that will take our life that will limit us of our years we crash that's the last prayer open your mouth and pray in the name of jesus may god give us good health long life may he preserve us open your mouth and pray Sandalabala, 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 S
in the name of jesus i had a vision before i came online i saw that somebody will come on air that there is a, a, a conspiracy to kill somebody around you. We are using that as a prayer point to pray for all of us, starting from me and you. We are telling God, I will not die, you will not die. Pray for me, I'm also praying for you. Then we are praying for anybody connected to us who have been assigned to die, with whom the arrow of premature death is looking for. We reverse and intercept by the blood of Jesus. Anybody we know, anybody that knows us, anybody in our environment, none will die from now to next year and beyond. Open your mouth, curse the spirit of untimely death cast the angel of death break it by fire break it by fire the book of jude the bible says and in the an angel of god cast satan cast satan Cast Satan. He said, May the Lord rebuke you. We are using that the Lord will rebuke on family that in us, around us, in us, our sons and daughters, our mothers and fathers. We break open the mouth in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Break in the name of Jesus. No, no, my pastors will die. None of my pastors will die. None of my pastors will die. None of my elders will die. I pray for you, sir. Give me a chance to make the cross of the fire. In the name of Jesus, for God, for all the problems of God, my big joys of God, the Abbe and all of them, Pastor, in the name of Jesus, I pray, I pray for the good things of God, I pray for the media, I pray for the ulcers, I pray for the media, I pray for the ulcers, I pray for the power. I pray for the spirit of the men ministry, the women ministry, the children ministry, the youth ministry, any attack is broken by fire, any arrow is intercepted by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. I intercept it in the name of Jesus. In the name, keep on praying, please. Hello, Papa. Hello, Daddy. Papa, hey, yo, Daddy. May yet, may bomb pie of faith book a crazy. Yes, Daddy. But my younger son, Papa, my almost born pile of my younger son, Papa. Papa, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Papa, many suffer we many suffer your work as I am, Pacho. Pacho, I am many necessary, Papa. My consul, my queen, necessary. Uh, Papa, tent, Namia Duma. Okay. okay, Papa. Okay. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Papa. Okay, Papa, my chomati. Papa, my chomati. Papa, my chomati. Papa, my chomati. Papa, my Papa Bacho, Papa Bacho, and thank you for the opportunity, sir. Bacho, see, Papa, me feel Facebook as well. My friends of Bacho, that's thank you, Papa. Bye. 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 Bye.
is my spiritual father. And when your spiritual father calls, uh, all protocol is suspended. He said I should leave America <laughs> and come to UK in the next available flight. <laughs> hey, Asabo. So I'll, I'll be, hey, <laughs> Asabo, where are they? So, my, you see, you know, when you see that I'm doing well in ministry it's because I follow protocol. <laughs> and we don't fake it. I don't fake it too. It's not because I'm all right. I, that is how I live my life. You see, he just, when your father calls, whatever you are doing, it is suspended. That is spiritual authority. He said, he just called. He said, he wants me to come to UK in the next available minutes. You understand? And come and have service for him. I thank him. But that one, when I finish, I'll call and plead for mercy. I want to finish the program. I have about four programs here. When I finish, I'll, so you see, that is what it is. Some of you, when your fathers call, you do what you want to do. So you cannot enjoy the covenant of your fathers. Every father has something. You can be any, whatever than your father. Your father can be anything. So far as the covenant of God is working in it, we don't despise and smack our father. So I think I'll pray the last prayer. It said I should come to UK. But that one, so UK, I'll be coming, I'm coming to UK. I'll be coming to UK very soon. He said, I should stop whatever I'm doing in America and come to UK. Stop everything I'm doing in America and come to UK. So, and have service in UK. God bless you, United Kingdom. It is your time. I'm coming soon. I'm coming. I see. we are not the next available flights. Bra UK. So, um, 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 thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's bless God. Let's bless God. Let's give God the praise. So watch me. My, 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 there was a woman called Pamela. I saw something about yesterday. Yesterday, I saw something. I hope the young generation you people are learning. I said, stop. If I'm somebody else, hey, my father will call me. In the first place, he will not even call you. He will not call you. In the first place, he will not call you. And I am whatever I am because I saw him. I loved him. admired him. We did, I have never spoken ill of my father. I've never taken him for granted. I've never given a poster for him to feel disrespected and dishonored. He said, he said, Jania Wuyebia. Now the next available flights. Tinamobra UK. Now be sorry, mommy. You hear that? Now me show. I know the me we my friend pay for a patch I'll have to finish in London and I don't know. Okay, I'll see what I'll do. So just let's thank God and let me prophesy. So you can call me if you want to call me. There's a number on the You can call me. You can call me. You can call me. You can call me right now. You can call me. You can call me. You can call me. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give him 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 praise. Give the Lord a 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 praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Right. So I'm ready to pick your calls. With Father, we thank you for answering our prayers in the name of Jesus. So my numbers are there. If you want to call me, yes, you can call me right now. In the name of Jesus. Hello. How are you? How are you? Um, thank you, Lord. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. The word is listen to you. I'm in New York. God bless you. Talk to me. Okay. This is Christopher Afida. Yesterday, you directed me to sow a seed and get back to you. Right. I've what what was it about? What you. do we talk about, please? You said I have the call of God on my life as a prophet. Okay. So you would have something for me. Okay, okay. Did I ask you to get a bottle of oil? No, please. You just said I should sow a seed yesterday and call you. Did I tell you to fast? Yes, you said I should fast to 12. Okay, 12 so do you have a bottle of olive oil by your side right now? No, please. Wow. So I want you to get a, a bottle of olive oil right now. I'm, I have like about 40 minutes to go off. And let me and call back and let me pray for you right now, okay? Okay. All right, I'll do that. right. So I'm ready to pick your calls wherever you are. I have a word in my spirit for you. 
I'm ready to pick your calls. I'm ready to pick your calls. I'm ready to pick your calls. So you can call me right now. If you're in UK, it's a good news. I just I'm ready to pick your calls. I'm ready I'm to ready pick to your pick calls. I'm ready so to pick God bless you. Hello. 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 Hello? Yes, sir. How are you? Please, sir. I'm doing well. Daddy, please, sir. Okay. Speaker, where are you calling from, please? Please, I'm calling from Ghana, Kumasi, Kenton Chrono, to be You are. Oh, you are calling from Kenton Chrono. Yes, please. Wow. Please. When I came to Kumasi, you know, you know that I started the Ido College in Kumasi. I'm the first person to start. Oh, yes, then, I was a teacher. I, 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 have, I have been asking for you. I've been telling you in Kumasi. I've been asking for that. Then. Wow, I don't have auditorium yet in Kumasi, but uh, we believe in God for more increase. I'm the first person to start the Adel College. I, 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 okay, Daddy, I have been saying that if I see you today, I'll, I'll die. I like it. I just want to see you. I just want to see you. If I see you today, I'll die. I, you just I, I, want I like to it. see me, and that's all. Yeah, if I see you today and die. Oh no, you'll see me today and die, please. I beg you. You see me and leave. You see me and leave. I correct and Amen. I delete that from the from from the record of time. You leave and you not die. You see me and, and you not die. Who is called fancy? Fancy. Yes, this is me, fancy. Your name is fancy. I'm seeing something in the notary, but what is it? I'm giving my uh, my my number, okay? I'm giving my personal number, and I'll be coming to Ghana soon because I'm going to cut everything I'm doing quickly and come back to Ghana and then to UK. So take this number zero two four four zero two four four. Okay, zero two four four zero zero two four four nine five Okay, then. 0244 955009. 0244 955009. Yes, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you. I'm going to finish with, with, the, with the live service. Uh, I'm going to talk to my people. I'm cutting short my stay and I'll, I'll be in Ghana. So connect with me. Is that okay? Okay, then. The Lord bless you. May the oil of me speak for you. May And you will not right. die. You will leave in Jesus. And we'll definitely see. God bless you. Right, so I'm ready to pick your calls. I'm Nigel Gazy, and thank you for fasting with us. Thank so you for so right fasting with us. UK, hey, Pages, God bless you. Yesterday you made me laugh. Pages, God bless you. God bless you, Pages. So you can call me right now. I'm ready, to pick your... I'm ready to pick your calls. My mere fears upon. I'm ready to pick your calls. So you can call me right now. So you... Jay, Jay Jackson, how are you? God bless you. So you can call me right now. If you want to call me, you can call me right now. We've done two hours, nine minutes. Uh, you can call me right now. God bless you. Wherever you are, you can call me. Wherever you are, you can call me right away. You can call me right away. So you can call me right away. You can call me right away. You can call me right away. Whilst we are waiting for callers, we will ask it where still pray. I'm a man, a prophet that loves prayer we will still pray we are praying in the name of jesus that the lord will show us and the lord will show us a token of his kindness we are praying that a year by this time he will preserve us keep us and may he show us a token of his kindness may he show us a token of his kindness so open your mouth and pray i'm ready to pick your calls wherever you are you can call me right now wherever you are hello hello Hello? Hello, prophet of God. Yeah, bless you. Can Please, can you lift up your voice? Can you lift up your voice? How yes, are you? Sir. Yes, sir. What do you do for yes, life? Thank you. What? I'm, 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 I'm humbled. I'm humbled. What do you do for life, please? What do you do for life, please? Which work do you do? Please, please, I'm a, I'm a student, sir. You're a student? At where? Wow, what do you do? What do you do? Can you host me there? Can you organize yeah. the student? Can you host me there? Oh, okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, I want to invade Kofu. When I come, I'm going to Takrade Polytechnic. So I want you, I'm giving you a number, call the number, and I want you to give us a budget. So I will invade there with the gospel and the prophetic, okay? 
Take this number, 0242 Alright, so what I want you to do is that, what I want you to do is that, I want you to call the number his pastor I go to so talk to him and arrange. Let us know when we can come. I want to invade that place. Is that okay? Who is called Jonathan or Joe or Alex around you? Your name is Alex. The Lord is telling me that he's going to make you great. And I want to partner you. I want to be part of your life. So don't take the number for granted and call him. Arrange. I'll be coming to Ghana versus maybe next week I'll be in Ghana. And let's take it from there. Is that okay? All right, sir. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. Uh, who sell bread Amen. around you? Who sell bread around you? Who sell bread around you? Who is a baker or sell bread around you? Hello? Oh, I lost him. When he called me, relax because I talked to you. Hello? Bless you. Bless you. Hello? Hello? How are you, madam? I'm, I'm good. Okay, can you lower your set and just listen to me through the phone and let's have a good time. Okay. Right. Can we talk? Yeah. All right. The Lord lifted my spirit and the Lord put me to a very deep sleep. The Spirit of God lifted my spirit and the Spirit of God put me to a very deep sleep. And the Lord said, somebody will call me from Chicago. Okay. And when the person called me from Chicago, I saw something about the person. So I want you to have time and let's go Let's navigate through the prophetic. Do I have the permission? Yeah, I've granted. All right. Number one, who is an airway around you? That's the first one. Number two, who sells pro cosmetics around you? Who sells cosmetics around you? Number three, number three, uh, I, uh, who is called Davi? Who is called Davi that you know or Mousy or Janet that you know? Number four, who is in the hospital around you or who is hospitalized around you and who is called Janet or Jamelia or something like that around you, please. Oh, okay. First one, uh, my brother is from Volta region. Okay. Yeah. And second one, a friend of mine in Ghana sell those cosmetic things. Right. And the third one, Davi is my mother's. Hey! David is your mother's name. Yes. Tell Jesus. Wow. Oh, madam, you are lying. Oh, it's true. And where are you calling I'm from? Gonna, I'm calling from Chicago. Madam, you are lying. You are lying. Oh, it's true. It's true. I can't lie. Madam, do you know that I dreamt about you whilst I didn't know you? Wow. Yes. Before coming on life. I, the Lord took me to Chicago and gave me all this radiation. My God. But are you sure? Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. I'm 100% sure. No, sir, I brought you for the moon chat. I'm 100% sure. Wow. Are you married, madam? Yes. Is, are you still with your husband, madam? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do, I tell you something. Who is Jamila or Janet or Jamie something? Jemima. Who is that? That's my second name. That is your second name? Yes. Madam, are you, are you sure? Have we met before? Yes. No, 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 no. I've never seen you before. I only saw you on Facebook, but I don't know you. <laughs> I'm, I'm astonished somebody will say what is it there's a God all of you online if you're a Christian you have to be proud of your you have to be proud of Jesus I'm telling yes. you because listen I mean I don't lie I, this is a dream okay. I had a dream the Lord took me to Chicago and I, the, in that dream I had all these details I have so I have a paper here if you are closer to me I've written it I have a paper here if you are closer to me, I've written it. I've written it down. And, and that means that before we even thought, he has already made provision for that. Yes. What I believe yes. in God for, mommy, I want to pray with you. I want to partner with you. 
what you see i will not talk yours you see there is something god told me to do with you and i want i'm giving you a number take my whatsapp number and when i go okay. off air just give me 30 minutes to rest and call me back what okay. a prophecy my god i'm ready zero two four four Okay, four, four. Okay. Zero nine. Zero nine. Four. Thirty thirty two. What? Okay. So zero okay. two four four zero nine thirty thirty. Call her and yeah. call my office in Africa. They will give you my okay. WhatsApp number. WhatsApp okay. me with your picture, and I'm going to okay. I'm going to go. Nami Dolpao. God loves you. Thank you. God, Thank I don't know you. you. I dreamt about you. I dreamt. Wow. Thank I, you yes, I dreamt. The Lord bless you. So I'll connect with you soon. God bless Thank you. you. Right. Thank God, thanks thank to Jesus. So I'm Nigel Gazi. It's my gift. Wherever I am, it's my gift. Those of you who have been saying that this prophet, people give them information to prophesy. Come to America, then let somebody give me information. I'm like, I dreamt, and the Lord came to me. The Lord gave me these details. I dreamt. To the young generation, learn well. To the young generation, the Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord be gracious unto you. Call me right now. Hello. Bless you. Hello. Hello. Hello, prophet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Alex. We were talking and the call hanged on. Jesus Christ. I speak by his spirit. Uh, Alex, I oh. was asking that who is, who is, uh, either, either what I said, Kofodia, blah, 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 something. Yes, yes, Please, sir. Please, who, yes, who, yes, who, yes, who, yes. who sell, who that bre bread business around you? Bread business. Bread. Yes. Bread. Um, sir, my, my, my mother used to sell, sell buffalo. Yeah, that is what I wanted. That is what I wanted. There is a call of God on you. Yeah. God will want to use yeah. you. God is God. God is going to make you great. Yes, sir. There is a call on yes, you. Sir. I want you to set yourself apart and be pure for God. I want you to set yourself apart. Yes, set yourself what apart? Did you apart. hear that? Set yourself apart. Yes, sir. Be pure for God. Do what I used to do, and I'm still doing. I want you all the seven days in a week. Don't eat from today. Fast six to twelve. Six to twelve. Six to twelve. You grow. Then you come to six to three. Then you come to six to six. And use I use the scripture I used to pray, and I had the prophetic in Joel two twenty eight. I believe it. I pray with it. And midnight prayers, okay. And when I come to Ghana, come and look for me. I'm stopping everybody, everything to come to Ghana. My father says I should come to UK. So look for me. Don't go and sleep over this prophecy. It's prophecy that have brought me this far. Because I'm, I, I was nobody. It's the word of the prophets that has made me who I am. Did you hear that? Yes, sir. The Lord bless yes, you. Yes, the Lord make Abba, you... Amen. Abba, please. Abba, please, I've, I've been to church before. You gave me a prophecy before okay. about this. What did I say? What was I inspired yeah, so to say? Yeah, yeah. You you were supposed to tell me that I'll be seven times you. I'll 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 be seven times. I think about three weeks ago I came to well, church. Glory. Give me all, glory. all those prophecies. Glory. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Hallelujah. It's the same spirit. God bless. It will come to yeah, pass. Live right. Be pure. Amen. Set yourself apart because the pleasures in Christ are more than the pleasures in the world. I'm waiting for Amen. the young ones to catch the fire on us, to catch what is on us, to be greater than us. Is that okay? God bless yes, you. Yes, Hello, sir. bless you. Hello. You can call me right now if you're in America. You can call me. Any part of the world you are, you can call me. God bless you. I'm Master Prophet Nigel Gazi. Hello, bless you. Hello. I've missed it. Somebody's calling. So please, you can call me. God, keep calling me right now. So whilst we're waiting for the call, I'm a man that believes in prayer. I want us to pray. Pastor Godswe, God bless you, my son. My beloved son. God bless you so much. I love you so much, Godswe. Everybody is asking of you. You are the only person. You and not everybody. So everybody is watching you. Those who are working, everybody say, "Hello, bless you." Hello, bless you. Hello. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Jeez. Please, if you call me, you delay me. I'll cut the line. Please, I'm a prophet. Be fast. When you call, know why you have called and connect to all with the greater respect. If you don't connect to all, I'll just Sorry. disconnect. Yeah. How are you? Sorry. Thank you. How are you? Jesus, I am in the realm of the spirit. Listen to me. The Lord is telling me that there is a limitation over your life. The spirit of God is telling me, Nigel Gazi, that there is a limitation over your life. And who have you come across by the name Emmanuel or Tony? Emmanuel, Tony, or Awudu? I'm seeing Awudu or Isaka. My name is my name is Awudu. Your name is Awudu. Listen to me. I am in a place called Chebi Akwedum. 
I am in a place, I'm in New York, but the Spirit of the Lord has lifted me to a place called Chebi Akwedum. And when I go to Chebi Akwedum, I saw certain things, and they were sitting on a stool. And whilst I was looking, it turned into a dwarf. And whilst it turned into a dwarf, and the Spirit of the Lord said, I should listen and I should watch. I kept listening and I kept watching. And I saw that they were having a meeting about you. And the angel of the Lord told me to tell you that there is a limitation over your life. Because some years passed, some generation passed, some era passed. There was a fetish. There was something like fetish in your father's background. There was a fetish power and there was still a fetish power in your father's background. And that fetish power responded and went for the spirit of dwarf. And that spirit of dwarf is fighting all of you. I am seeing in the realm of the spirit some who were Muslim, who are Muslim and some who are Christians. And the spirit of the Lord is telling them that it is fighting with you people. And I'm seeing the name like Tony. I'm seeing the name like Tony. And now I'm seeing Eric. And the Lord said, you are not the only person they are fighting. You are driving. You are doing everything to come out, to break up. And look at this. I am seeing a classroom teaching. I'm seeing you in a classroom teaching. I am seeing you in a classroom teaching. And then the Lord wakes me away. And I'm in New York. But my body is around the Odan area. The Odan area. Odan Eastern Region area. Odan Eastern Region area. And the Spirit of the Lord said, I should tell you that let that limit, that limit must be broken. That limit must be broken. That limit must be broken. So let me ask you, what, what do you have to say about what I am picking? My God. For that knowing of God. Uh, I, 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 I've been struggling a lot in life. And, uh, Where is your location, please? Where is your location? I'm in Cape Coast now. I'm in Cape Coast now. You are in Cape Coast now. Okay, yes. I'm going to give you a prophetic direction. Okay. All these places I mentioned, your relatives have stayed there and they are staying there. Chebi okay. Akwedum, I'm seeing something Akwedum, Akwedum, and I'm seeing okay. something and Oda. And listen to me, okay. whoever you marry, the the woman and marry sees you, woman who woman who take advantage of you. Women will okay. be taking advantage of you. The woman you love, you invest in, blah, 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 they will disappoint you. They will disappoint okay. you. And in the realm of the spirit, we okay. have to pray for your eyes. In the realm of the spirit, we have to pray for your eyes. Because as I'm speaking, I'm seeing something coming out of your eyes. And the doctor will tell you with the passage of time that you've gotten something like glaucoma. 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 I am seeing glaucoma. Glaucoma. Do you have any blind person in your family? Do you have the history of blindness? Mm, no, but I have a mother who has an eye problem. Your mother has an eye problem. Yeah. I am seeing glaucoma. It's not a portion. I want you, and most of you, you come on and we give you prophetic accent and you take it for granted. We are not here to play. I'm a okay. serious man of God. When okay. you come encounter okay. with a prophet of my stature with the greatest of humility, don't joke with it. It's a privilege. I'm here to help you by the grace of God. So I want you to get three bottles of olive oil. Okay. I want you to get three bottles of olive oil and get any seed okay. that touches your heart. Get any seed okay. that touches your heart. I'm giving you a number, sow the okay. seed, then call the U.S. number, and I'm going to pour local salt in the salt. I'm going to break limitation, and I'm going to season you by the Spirit of God in that there will not be any attack on your eyes. Then after the Lord, will, then after the Lord will wither you into your higher level. The Lord will going to keep keep you, kick you, push you into your higher level. Is that okay? Amen. So Amen. take this number zero two four four zero two four four zero two four four zero nine zero nine thirty thirty two thirty thirty two thirty two. Yes. So so I see into that. Get that bottle of oil and call me right away. The Lord bless you. I curse right. every attack right. of the devil hovering around you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you. Amen. So I'm Nigel Gazy. I'm ready to pick your calls. Wherever you are, you can call me. Call me. Let's have a good time. My name is Nigel, and I'm a prophet. That is my gift. Uh, Paul, how are you? God bless you. Who is this, please? Hello? Okay, open open the oil. Pour the olive oil on you right now. Wherever you are, pour the olive oil. Let me pray for you, please. Thank you, Holy Ghost. A lot of people are calling. Please keep calling. Please keep calling. Call your friend that master problems on earth. Keep calling. Have you poured the oil on you? 
Okay, Father, let's pray. This house is a barrier. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Christopher. He desires for your gifts. He desires for the prophetic. Let this oil, let the wind that we, that, let the wind that gather us gather him. Let the wind that gather us gather him. Let the wind that gather us gather him. I bless you and I impart you the prophetic. I impart you the grace of God and I season you that let the call of God, the man of God, be greatly manifested in your life. I bless and I ban every evil forces in your background that will fight this prophecy, that will fight this prayer. In Jesus' name, God bless you. I would like to see you when I come to Ghana and keep following me, follow me assiduously and you become one of us in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Right. Thank you very much. Right. God bless you. Hello. Bless you. I'm ready to take your calls. Hello. Hello. Yes, how are you? Speak up. I'm fine, sir. I'm out of work. Yes. I'm watching you live. You are watching me live. Talk to me. Where are you calling yes. from? There is a great, I'm seeing a great chair. You are sitting in a great chair in the realm of the spirit. And the angel of the Lord is telling me that your mother's family doesn't doesn't allow that doesn't like this thing i'm seeing a great church the lord want to give you a space to occupy in the prophetic uh a man of god alfred bellamy i love you god bless you the lord want to give you a space last like he has given some of us a space to occupy in the prophetic in the realm of the spirit i have a space i'm occupying and the spirit of god is telling me that he what i'm seeing a chair and the chair i'm seeing is like the chair i'm sitting on in the realm of the spirit and the spirit of the Lord is telling me that your mother's background doesn't allow, doesn't want to allow this. So if there's any prayer, you got to pray, pray more into your mother's background. Because your mother's background, they don't allow the move of God. They don't allow good things. They don't allow people to rise. So one day, one day, if you take this prophet seriously, you'll be a prophet and a major prophet. You'll not be a minor prophet. Because I'm not a minor prophet. I'm a major prophet per excellence. That is what God is telling me. Amen. And in the law, the Lord looks at my spirit and waste my spirit. And I'm in the olden days, in the olden days, in the olden days, I'm seeing there was somebody that is either the person had a covenant with a family or your family had a covenant with a person. And I'm seeing the person called Awoche. I don't know whoever it's called Awoche. Awoche, 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 Awoche. Talk to me. Um. Which I don't, I don't really know from my mother's background because I, I, I don't really know much about them. Right. What do you do? Who are you? Where do you come from, please? Um, I'm Ghana. Which part? Sir, please let me be fast, okay? I want to be fast. I have to go. I so I have another th other things to do. Which part of Ghana, please, sir? Right. Which part of Ghana? I'm Tema. You are Tema. So what? Make it easy, sir. Where do you come from? So you are Ghana. Is that what no, you're saying? I'm not a guy. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I'm a Equiapim and Gadangbe. Eh, so if you are Gadangbe, then I will chase in your family. So yeah. you find out if no, you are Gadangbe, I will chase. It's, it's, it's a name. It's you people yeah. answer to that name. And yeah. which work do you That's do? True. Please, which work do you do? Yes, sir. Which work do you do, please? I'm not currently searching for a job. I'm you, a casual worker. Has somebody told you that you do the work of God before? Yes, please. And what are you doing about if the, the call of God is a, why are you looking for a job? Go on the park in the evening and start praying. Get hungry. My common door is part of the game. My common door for some years. Nyame be ma on sa so be obe didi be bring. Oti na me kano. Nyame en sa or so there is a call of God on you. So stop looking for a job now. Focus on the calling. Start doing dumb brokers. Start doing dumb brokers. Mark chapter 1. The Bible says early in the morning, Jesus went to the neighboring town and preaching the gospel, doing the master's business. Start doing dumb brokers. And when you do dumb brokers, give yourself to fasting and the reading of the word of God. As a young man, then with the passage of time, you got to be hungry. If you are not hungry, if you see us today, we are, we've been hungry before. Share. When we come out, they will They won't even answer. Page. Master, we start to don't block us. We are not so. 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 We are not so.
Yeah, call. How are you? Hello. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, the word I'm is fine. listen to you. Talk to me. Can I talk to you? Yes, please. Where are you calling from, please? I'm calling from Ghana, Tema. You are calling from Ghana, Tema. God bless you. Madam, are you a man or a woman, please? I'm a woman. Okay, in the realm of the spirit, listen to me. They want to shoot your waist because I'm seeing you sitting down. You're not being able to rise. Walk. There's going to be attack. There's going to be attack in your waist. I don't know whoever is around you who has that problem. Let me fast, please. Hello. Yes, can, can you hear me? Yes, please. I, I said that there is going to be an attack. Who? My goodness. Do you have a stepchild? Please do I have one. Madam, when you, with the greatest of respect, yes, when you call, stop whatever you are doing. Have respect for God and the things of God. Please. Oh, I'm listening. And when you do that, you distract me with the greatest of respect. I beg you. Okay? Jesus Christ. Mother, how are you? I'm fine. Do you have a stepchild? Yes, please. Do you have a stepchild? Where is the stepchild, please? My child, my child, he's, he's, he's going for stage right now. No, let's relax and listen to me well. Do you have a stepchild? S T E P step. It's not a no, child. No, please. No, please. All right. No, no, please. I don't have a stepchild. Can we go deeper with the prophetic? Yes, please. Okay. Who is a politician around you? That's the first one. Who is Audrey around you, or who is Emmanuel or Emma around you? Emma, Emma is my auntie, but she died um, just two months ago. She died just two months ago. Yes. Right. Listen to me. Make your point. I'm hearing you. And Emma, when she died, I was chosen as the next of kings. So the spirit that killed Emma is following you. And listen, some of you, when you come on air, when you get connected with us, and we give you prophecy. Then you go to, you go and consult other men of God who are sleeping. They don't know what time is it. They don't hear from God. They say, oh, leave this prophet alone. Leave this prophet. Now you leave them alone. You, when you people do that, it's the distraction. Know that it will not go to them. It will come to you. When you come on the page, when you meet a prophet, we give you that. Even if you don't believe it, work at it. I'm telling you. Okay. Madam, there is an attack on you. I'm not lying to you. And um, I don't prophesy to intimidate people because I'm a civilized man of God. I'm not, I'm not a bush man of God. Listen to me. I'm seeing the realm of the spirits that they have shot something into your body. And it's going to manifest. It's going to do what? Manifest. It's going to, who is a pastor around you? Who is a politician? Around you? Who is a great person around you, please? I don't, I, I don't have any pastor around you. Please, what do you do, please? I'm, I'm, I'm a caterer. I, 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 I'm a caterer. You are a caterer. My, 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 my waist has started paining me. My knee, I, hardly, I can hardly stand. You can hardly stand? Yes. So what I'm being inspired to say is true. Yes. There is an attack that is coming into your two breasts. Okay. Yes, there is an attack. Okay. And it's going to happen on a Friday. And they'll take you to the hospital, Kolebu, and it will be too late. Are you here with me? Yes, please. I want it you... Has it has started. Yes, and I will hear, like, someone pulling my breast. My, like, it's like I hear sound in my breast. You, 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 you hear what in your breast? I like sounds. It's like someone is pulling. Yes, it is. It is a serious head. attack that I don't want to even use my mouth to mention. There are certain sickness when I pick. I don't want to even use my mouth to mention. Listen, madam, you need an urgent deliverance. I'm telling you, there's an attack on you. I want you to get Fanta, the mineral called Fanta. Okay. Your mother's children, okay. how many? Where do you fall? Are you the first born, the last born, the third born? The where do you fall? Your mother's children. I am, I am, I am the second born. I want you to get two bottles of, listen to me, not the plastic Fanta. Okay. I want you to get the bottled Fanta. Okay. 
And I want you to call this number. They will give you my WhatsApp number. WhatsApp me. I'm going to stop that thing by the fire of God. I'm going to stop it. All the attack in your waist, all the attack that has started manifesting in your breast, is going to stop by the fire of God. Amen. There is somebody called Audrey that they have assigned a person to destroy you. And that person is very close to you, but you don't know that that person's name, median name for that matter, is called Audrey. Oh, okay. Audrey. I'm seeing Audrey. Audrey. And I'm seeing that the Audrey is a fancy young lady. It's a fancy. The Audrey is a fancy. So take this number, 0244. 0-9-30-32 call the number they'll give you my number get in touch okay. and let me pray okay. and okay. curse and rebuke the attack of the devil God bless you okay. you will not die before your time Amen. you will not die before your time can Amen. I ask you a question please Yes, please. Do you owe anybody? Do you have any problem with anybody by the name Deborah? Who is Deborah? Deborah, no, I don't, I don't remember. You don't? Do you owe anybody who who has who works in a school as a proprietor or as a teacher? Who is a school? Who works in a school? Do you have a problem with anybody? Yes, yes, I was working as a, as an administrator in a school. And so that place, somebody picked a beef with you. You didn't know. Obi, Obi, anywhere cool, soon, soon, ma. Who would him so no concerning your maker travel? Into Madam, as I say, a bomb pioneer break his head and mouth. Oh, yes, to Christo, give me a shout. Hello, bless you. My name is Nigel Gazi. That's my gift. Hello. 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 Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, Prophet Nigel, I want to make a say. I want say. Me on New York. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, I'm going to say that. 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 All right. God bless you. Hello. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Okay, can I talk to you? Over no own or brothel. Okay, over in the realm of the spirit, I ain't no cut on a stroke. In the realm of the spirit, me and no cut I'm seeing that in that me and no cut on I I hate no no cut on. No, something is going to enter you that you will not be able to walk and talk well. Namaji or money or money or marry or money. That is your name. Who is who is called Eunice or Fair around you? In Eunice is fighting with them. Eunice is fighting with them. Uh, my okay. guy is not good. Me na ke Eunice e kameno. Me na ke Eunice kameno. Listen, Daddy. Uh, do you have Do you have anybody around you so as I can I can clearly talk to the person, please? Kamoko, 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 moko. You're here. Hani in kela we ni in in chole na ni mi na ya ohe ni e ke bo fane. All right, what the Lord is telling me is that they are, okay, watch me. What the Lord is telling me is that they have sent something like paralysis on you and it's going to manifest. And I'm seeing that your daughter called Eunice, uh, she's praying and she, she prays for you. And I'm seeing that she, she, she wants to intercept it. Her prayers want to intercept it. Her going to church want to intercept it. But it is, it is not, it is still hanging. So what we have to do is that I'm going to give you a number. Go and see my resident pastor, and he's going to pray for you and break it for you. Okay. Yes. So take this number zero two four four. Number. Let me find. Don't cut the line because a lot of people are calling. If you cut the line, you get me again. Zero nine thirty thirty two zero two four zero nine thirty thirty two. Zero nine. 
30, 32. 30, 32. Yes, over and a chat, oya na me ye. Listen, sir. There's a man that I gave prophecy that he'll go mad and he took it for granted. He's gone mad and now they are calling me. If you do, if you if you joke with this prophecy, you'll be paralyzed. You have stroke. I'm seeing that by 21st of November, this thing is going to manifest. So please call the number Sunday. Go and see them. I'll give them an instruction what they should do with garlic for you. They'll use garlic to do something for you. The Lord bless you. Hello, bless you. Hello, who is here? Hello. Bless you. So you can go off, please. God bless you. Hello. Okay. All right, bless you. Hello. Next caller. Thank you, Lagos. You can call me. You can call me. I have some few minutes to pray with you. And I, I'm going to let you sow a seed because I feel that knowing I've got a my life. I have just 20 minutes to leave you. I'll just use, I'll use 15 minutes to leave you. Uh, so those who are calling, you can call. A lot of calls are coming from UK. I'll be in UK very soon. My spiritual father said I should stop whatever I'm doing in America and come to UK. So I'm going to come to you. I'm going to come quick. Maybe next week I'll be in Ghana. And I want to pray with you. And I'm going to give you. You are my last but one caller. Hello. Bless you. How are you? Hello. Hello, sir. Good evening or Ble good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, it's good afternoon in America, New York. Where are you calling from? Oh, okay. I'm calling from the UK. Okay, give me a second, UK. So what a gift that I'm in Ghana. You can mention a man's name, mention the daughter's name. And, and what a gift. Ghanaians, let's celebrate our own, hold our own, defend our own, protect our own. God bless you. Madam, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank God you. bless you. you I'm blessed. Who is a pastor around yes. you? Who is a pastor around you? A pastor. Yeah, a man of God around you. Who is a Nigerian uh, around you? Who is who is in Mecca? Oh, my husband. My husband. Your head. That is your husband. How is he? Yeah. <laughs> He's <doing> fine. Okay. <laughs> the Lord yes. said, "I should take yes, sacrifice sir. from you." Wow. Yes, okay. the Lord said, takes ah my God. I have an author in my church called Angel. Who is Angel? Angel. Oh, that's our daughter. We just have we named her one of the names. Oh, that is your daughter. One of your daughter's name. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. The Lord said, I'm seeing, you know, your home is blessed. I don't know whatever is happening now, but I'm seeing, you know, lace, you know, lace, you know, lace. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm seeing golden glittering lace. Oh. And the Lord said, tell her wow. and let this message be sent to the husband that okay. a time is coming that I, the Lord myself, I'm going to showcase them and make them a spectacle of honor. And madam, in the realm of the spirits, tell your husband and on this family, there is going to there's going to be wealth. There's going to be wealth. I am a seer. I'm a prophet from Ghana, yeah. but I'm in New York. There's going to be wealth because I am seeing the remnants. I saw a man of God. He said that is your husband, and I'm seeing something like a yeah. golden apple. That is gold. That is gold, like lace. You see the what the yeah. royal people wear, what the rich people wear. I'm seeing that. I'm I've, right now. I've come to your hall, and I'm seeing that all around you, people. Yeah. I'm seeing all around you, people. I'm seeing huh, wow. a girl. I'm seeing a girl. I'm seeing a girl. One girl, another girl. And the Lord said, tell them. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. And this yeah. message, tell your husband that you call Prophet Nigel. Yeah. And the Lord yeah. said, listen, madam, I'm seeing wealth. I'm seeing yeah. wealth. I'm seeing glittering. I'm seeing huh. lace. That is what I'm seeing. In the realm yeah. I'm seeing lace. And this lace are for royals. Yeah. These lays are for royals. The Lord said, whatever they have sown, the seed they have sown, is not going to die. Tell them, the seed they have sown is not going to die. Tell them that the seed they have sown is not going to die. Tell your husband that somebody is coming to dash him with cars. Somebody, I'm seeing somebody blessing with a property. I'm seeing somebody blessing with wow. a car. I'm seeing somebody give, give him a car key. And this prophecy will come to pass before the end of this year. This prophecy will come to pass before the end of this year. And madam, you are a good woman. You have held your home together. You have held your home together. The Lord bless you. And what I saw, it will come to pass. That is what I saw. Amen. Amen. Sir, so I was going to say as well, you were the one that prophesied to me and my husband even before we got married in Birmingham. 
um, when you came. I'm the one that Thank prophesied you. to you and your husband. Yes. In Birmingham. That would be, yes, but you are the first prophet that called me out and you prophesied to me that time. I just had Gloria in my ears. I just got Gloria in my yes. ears. Glory. Yes, it's Gloria, sir. Yes, sir. It's Gloria. I'm Gloria. <laughs> yes, sir. My God. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Listen to me. God yes, is going sir. to bless you, people. And I'm coming to the... You. So, yes. I prophesied that you'll be married and you are married now. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You did. Wow. Yes. You call and after you said again that you are saying who is that Nigeria? The same Nigeria guy. Then I called him and then he came out. Then you prayed and prophesied to me. In UK. Yes, sir. How many yes, years sir. now? About how many years okay. now, please? The people are many. How many years now? About five, six years now. Five or six years now. Yes, sir. Yes, wow, sir. congratulations. God bless you so much. I'm giving you a number. You are going to okay, WhatsApp me, and I'm going to, you are going to sow a seed. And it's a dandel. Okay, so take this number and okay, call sir. the number right now in Ghana. It's 00. Okay, sir. My God. My God. Zero zero two three three two. Two, three, three, sir. Four, four. Zero, nine. Yes, sir. Zero, nine. Thirty, thirty-two. Thirty, thirty-two. So, let me forget it, but zero, zero, two, three, two. Four, four. Yeah, zero, four, nine, thirty, four, thirty-two. Nine, 30, 32. Yes, and you, you are, you are part of my family. Because your prophecy I gave. So when you are also done calling, the, when they give my WhatsApp number, SMS me on my US number. Because I'll call you. Okay. And your, tell your okay. daughter, tell her I prophesied. So tell her I'm the grandfather. Okay. And I'm coming okay. to UK maybe next two weeks or three weeks. So uh, God bless you. So call the number wow. and connect with me right now. God bless you. My God. Okay. I love you. you. I love you. God bless you. you. Wow. People, you will be my last but one caller. There's a lot of people calling, but you do my last caller. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Hello? Hello? Can you lower? Hello? Can you, oh, my God. I saw that morning of God. I saw that morning. Yeah, hello? How are you, please? Thank you, Jesus. I'm blessed by the grace of God, prophet of God. Yes. Can you lower your set? Can you lower your set? Yes, I've just done the prophet of God. Okay, talk to me. Talk to me. The word is listening. Thank you, Holy yes. Spirit. Yes, Prophet of God, I just want to thank you so much for allowing me to prophesy into your life yesterday. I oh, wow, wow, you are, the, you are the prophet. Yeah, God bless you, my brother. I hope you are fine. Yes, I'm yeah. blessed by the yeah, I would God, like to do God. a direction for you. Get seven bottles of olive oil and call me, call my okay. U.S. number. I'm going to commit you to a sacrifice. Then I'll do a direction for you. I'm going to put you on three hours watches direction. There is a direction called okay. three hours watches direction. And wherever you are, you can prophesy. Three hours, watches that. So get the oil right now in the next 30 minutes and call me back. The Lord bless you. God Thank bless you. you. Right. Yeah, right. And so I'm leaving right now. I'll pick the last caller and I'll leave. Wherever you are, I want you to call me. Wherever you are, tell, amen. Tell, 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 tell your friends that Prophet Nigel, tomorrow I'll be in Florida. Oh, Jesus, I saw the anointing of God. I feel the anointing of God. I feel the anointing of God. You are my last caller. Hello. Bless you. Hello. 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 Yes, sir. How are you? Hello, Prophet Nigel. Yes, I'm, I'm very well, sir. Please, how are you too? I'm humbled. Thank you. I, I, I'm really excited to be talking to you today. I'm also very happy talking to you. Yes. Uh, uh, I think three days ago, I saw you in my dream. Oh, really? What was uh, I doing? Was I... Was I taking yes. money from you? No, 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 not at all, not at all. Okay, what it, was I doing? I, I saw you, 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 you were actually praying with me, like, uh, we were praying together, and then we, we were praying for sick people, and, and, and then you changed, at the point, you told me that you are changing your name to Senior Prophet, 
And then you, you mentioned a local name, but I don't remember. You mentioned the local name. Wow. You are, you senior are, prophet, something, something. Wow. Then the realm of the spirit, I'm a senior prophet. <laughs> My gift. Uh, how, do you yeah. see, how do you see the happenings online? How do you see the happenings online? No, I've, I've always respected you, always, always, even though guardians see so many things about you. But in my spirit, I know that you are a genuine man. Yeah. And I, I just love you. I just love you from a distance. Bless you. It's, it's and not, it's my first it, time dreaming about you. Go, go, go. I'm going to, I, I know the meaning. I'm going to give you a direction. It's normal. I cannot, you cannot be a prophet and people will not have their say. It's normal. That one is normal. The devil knows I'm called of God. Yeah. God knows I'm called. Uh, and the people I've been called to knows I've been called by our God, and I know I've been called by God. And there's no my, my works are yes. evidential. I mean, the evidence is clear, and you can't doubt the evidence that the hand of God is on me. I want you to get three bottles yeah. of olive oil, and I want you to call right. me back. I'm still in the US, so call me back. And when you call me, refresh my mind about Benjamin or Ben, Benjamin or Ben, Benjamin or Ben, Benjamin, okay, or Ben. And, all right. We're going to do well. We're going to do fine. And there's a call of God on you. So pursue it. It's, it's awesome to do the work of God. It's awesome. There are bottlenecks in it, but it should not limit you. Is that okay? So I will guide you yes, the little sorry. I can. And so get a bottle and call me. You can do that today. Today I'm fasting, so I'm high in the spirit. Is that okay? I will, I will do that. Okay, God I bless will you. do that. God bless yeah, you. I can call you back on this very Yeah, line. you can call me back on this very number. Oh, I am and, so and, excited. And, and, and you have today. fine material for ministry. Well, you're a handsome guy. The Lord just reveal you. So please, endeavor to let it happen. Is that okay? Yes, man of God. God bless you. Yes, sir. man of God. Right. So I wanted to end, but my media says that I should continue. My administration says I should continue. So you can call me. I'm still here with you. Uh, Linda, I miss you, Linda. When I'm coming, Linda, what do you want? Write it. What do you want? Linda, what do you want? Hey, perfect. What do you want when I'm coming? All my people are online, my, my favorite people. Hey, Hannah is online, Linda is online, Perfect is online, Jacqueline is online, Michael Don Pare, the lazy man, is also online. I know he's laughing, you know, Michael. He loves laughing. Also, for Michael, is also online. Resident Pastor is online. Okay, Apostle Alfred Belloni. Good to see. Adwa Sewa in Kitia. How are you? Uh, this lady, I saw something about yesterday. Didn't connect. I wanted to end, but they said I should continue. So I'm here. You can call me right now. Nana, I'm coming to now prophesy to those of you online. Just online, you've not called. I'm going to pick your name. And what I see, what I say, I'll tell you. Don't joke with the prophetic because it works. Don't joke with the prophetic. So, because it works. All the prophet online, God bless you. This is a gift. A magnificent gift, a very great gift. Also, for Michael, good to see you. It's good you holding the front. God bless you. I'm believing God that I'll come home very soon. Abrant here says, Feed America, I'll call Gan, Brad, UK. They said I should come to UK. So, UK said, like, Come to UK in the next available flight and come and have service. So, UK, it is your time. You had a testimony. You see, you can't fake it. I've been telling people you can't fake it. If you have it, you have it. And what people say cannot stop the move of God. The lady said five or six years ago, I was in England. And I gave her a prophetic word, mentioned the husband's name. And I said they will marry. They have married. They will give birth. They have given birth. What are you waiting for? Maybe you know somebody that is believing God for the fruit of the womb. My oil answers it. Maybe you know somebody who is believing God for a release of document and want to buy a property. Listen to me. All men of God are not the same. Grace are not the same. We can be classmates, we can be colleagues, but the measure of realms are not the same. To some, the Bible says that. To some, my prophet, I speak to them in dreams and visions. But to my servant Moses, I speak to you one on one. I, God speaks with me one on one in all humility, and I'm privileged. I say in all humility. Look at the lady that called from Chicago. I dreamt about her. The Lord came to me, gave me a details about her. Whilst I've not even come on air. What are you waiting for? Sunday, we're having a great service in Accra. I'll be there myself this Sunday. You know, my spiritual father said, I should store whatever and, and come back to UK for a, for a program. So people of God, tomorrow I'll be in Florida. The address, the media people are going to fly. It. Um, I'll be in Florida I'm going to cash out my, I should have been in Florida from tomorrow to Monday, but I'll just do two days in Florida, change my ticket and go back to UK. So watch me, I'll pass you Ghana 
before going to UK. Sunday, I'll be in Ghana. Wherever you are, I want us to connect 15 Green Hill Street on Sunday, 8.30 to 12 midday. And I tell you that Sunday, because I'm coming with my clothes a little bit late, get yourself ready. Grace is coming. Greater grace is coming. And to all of you in Ghana, I've given you prophecy. I want you to go to church on Sunday. Call my resident pastor. The numbers I've given you, I will instruct them. The online, they know what to tell you. They know what to do for you. And be safe. The Lord bless you. So I'm still here, Frank Believer. I'm still here. You can call me. Perfect, I miss you. Hannah, I miss you. Bismarck, Lazy Bismarck. I have not missed you. The lady called Poma. I don't know why you're not connected. There's somebody doing something. Hello, bless you. Hello. You can call me right now. Hello. I'll, I'll pick Hello. Yes. yes. I have, I have gotten the seven bottles. I was the one who called and asked me to get seven bottles. Seven, seven bottles. bottles. When I go off air, then you call me, then I do a direction for you, okay? Thank you so much. The Lord bless you and favor you. God oh, bless you. All right. So you can call me right now. I have all the time for you. In, whilst we are waiting for call, I will, I will encourage you that if today you you have given you a prophecy of or so for Africa, I, I feel excited when I say you. Great man of God. Few men of God love men of God. A lot of men of God, they are not united. But thank you. Nanajwa in Ketia. Okay, let me give you a prophecy. I'm coming. I'm going to give a prophecy. And everybody online. Ambassador Sammy Davis and hey, when the battle is from home is coming first week in November, it's gonna be it's gonna be audacious. My God, is the, the the men of God coming this year, the team that are, are coming this year, it's gonna be audacious. It's gonna be audacious. <laughs> Bishop Salifu Amwako is coming. He's on the bill this year, one of the pioneers of the prophetic. He's coming this year. Ambassador Sammy Davis is also coming from Liberia. This year he is on, and we we are excited to have him. And my own spiritual father, Apostle Efriya Mwakweyim in UK, the lion himself, will be with us. And I'm still talking to Bishop Adnasari and Reverend Sam Kwanchakra, and I'm still talking to them. One of them will be on the bill. And already there's, there's those who are coming to sing, SK Frimpong will be there, Uncle Atu will be there. Ohima Messi will be there, and who one person, Mavis Asante, will be there. This year is it's going to be it's going to be crazy. Be ready, and from the first week of this next, that is the first week of August, we are starting the adverts and everything. We are doing two month clear adverts. So the administration, please get it ready. Start your teasers. We are starting the advertising. Two months clear, two months clear. And I'm going to push, we're going to push more prayers. We're going to push money into this program. And we're going to lift up the name of Jesus when your battle is from home. I'm excited to see you, my brother. You're online. And so you can call me. I'm in New York. I'm here doing the work of God. So you can call me. And if today I prophesy to you, if today I pray with you, I want you to release a sacrifice to push the work of God. I said I was going, but the handler said I should wait a bit. They said that. The heat is on, so I should wait a bit. So I'm giving opportunity. If I know in Europe, a lot of you are in the office. If you're in America, I am in New York. And tomorrow, I'll be in Florida. If Jesus tarries, I'll be in Florida. So the address is on the screen. Uh, I want you to connect with us in Florida. If you are friends in Florida, I, I want you, on that, you are give to us. We love you. Hey, I know. I also love you, perfect. You know what? I know what you want. I'll bring you. I know you love cash. I'll bring you cash. And you, are, you don't love, you don't, we don't like plenty. Just 200 and you'll be screaming. My perfect. God bless you, my baby girl. So I love all of you. Adam's Nate. God bless you. So there is a number on the screen. If I gave you, I was inspired to speak into your life. I'm come to pray for those who are sick. I want you to release a sacrifice. Anything that touches your heart, I want you to release it. I call your name. God bless you, my classmate. And also, if I gave you a prophetic action to call my administration, call, take the number, connect with me. Those of you, like the man I mentioned, stroke, Emma, all of you or something, please call. Don't play with prophetic promptings and prophetic direction. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. So you can send a seed on a number. 0244 09 30 32. Release a sacrifice. And I'm coming to prophesy live right now. And one thing that, what, the reason I don't prophesy to those of you online 
those who are typed right tell it because when we are prophesying, you delay me. And some of you, I feel you will even bluff us. No need to bluff us. I'm coming to enter into your life prophetically. And I want you to respond. I want you to respond. I want to talk to the lady. I want to talk to the lady. Okay, okay. God bless you, Abandon Papa. I'm still believing and trusting God for the prophecy you gave me some years back about traveling to Canada. I wait the manifestation of God's word. Lee, it will come to pass. Lee, I'm giving an invitation. I want you to release a sacrifice on that prophecy again. Lee, talk to me. When I mention your name, respect the oil on me. And re- let's 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 connect. Okay, I have time for you. Let's connect. If I if I give you a prophetic word, 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 if I mention your name by the Spirit of God, please, I want you to share the broadcast again, share the broadcast again, and I want you to ask it where, respect the oil on me, and talk back to Lee. Can we talk? Lee V, can we talk? I want you to release a sacrifice, Lee V, on the number 244 093032 Zero two four four zero nine ten thirty two. There is somebody I'm seeing, Levi. So we can be interactive right now. There's somebody I'm seeing. Uh, uh, a, I'm spelling your name. Your name is difficult to mention for me. A L U S I N E. Can I talk to you? I'm seeing something about you. A L U S I N E. Can I, Can you respond with me or to me? A A L U S A. A L U S I N E. Your name. So when I pick it, you can talk to me. I'll give you a prophecy. I will give you a prophecy. Grace is available. Yeah. A Roman chroma. Grace is available. Greater grace is available. Greater grace is available. So share the broadcast right now. 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 Right now. Share the broadcast right now. Share the broadcast right now. Share the broadcast right now. And I am leaving you in the next. Okay. If I mention your name, you are not mine. I stop. So let me leave you then. Anytime, this one of the reasons why not until you call me, I don't come. Your home will mention your name. I don't know whether you're shy. You can you will shy and you die. You die in your shyness. You your life will still be what it when it comes to the things of God, there's nothing like shyness. This is church. This is a mode. This is a church. This is church. You understand? This is church. This is church. You understand? This is church. So I'll leave you here. I'm going. I'm in Sierra Leone. I didn't ask you where you are. I said, how are you? And if you'll be interactive, I'll talk to you. If you're not being interactive, I'll please leave you. So maybe let me leave you. So say this after me. Uh, I'm going to pray and prepare myself for my next assignment. So please say this after. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. Forgive me of all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said this, you are a born again, a new born again, born again. You are born again. And Sierra Leone, I'll be in Sierra Leone the last week of November with my team. I'll come to Tombeck Town Christ as Lord with Evangelist Michael Gooden. I want you to connect yourself in any local church. If you don't have any church, in Agan, I have a church there. We are located in Dome, five minutes from the Dome Market. Our address there is uh, green 15 green hill street 15 green hill street 15 green hill street i've done three hours five minutes i think that should go it's, in, it's okay three hours 15 minutes so i'll go three hours five five minutes three hours uh, we have a lot of things to do as well i have to leave the crew they have to go to ama so the man said i'm in sierra leone there was you have been tied you're a man of god there's a call on you but you have been tied and i'm seeing sickness you have been tight, so you can connect with me. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Moses Kufo, God bless you. Favor, AJ, God bless you. God, leave. So, so I see, Richard. I follow you more than your shadow. Richard Botry, keep on following me. And it will speak for you. There is a covenant on me. It's going to speak for you. Somebody's calling. Let me pick the last caller and let me close. Hello. Hello. Yep. Hello. 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 Yes, sir, boss. Hello, sir. Yes, sir, boss. Good, good evening, sir. Blessings. Good afternoon, New York. Okay. Good evening from Ghana, sir. Right. Talk to me, sir. Who are you, sir? My name is David, sir. Okay. Talk to David. 
He said, yes, David. Sir. Yes, sir. What do you do? What do you do, please, sir? I sell clothes. You sell clothes. What's your nationality, please? I'm in, I'm in Nigeria. You are Nigerian. Oh, my God. You yes, are, sir. Okay. Uh, where, where, are you watching me on Facebook? Yes, sir. Okay, Nigeria. Okay, hold on. David, Nigeria. Okay, thank you, Holy Ghost. Share your dreams with me. What do you see in your dream? I don't normally remember my dreams. Okay, can I give you a prophetic action? Yes, please. All right. I want you to get your mother's shoulder. Where do you fall? Uh, I was number three, but now I'm the number six, number one. Okay, you were the, you were number three. Yeah, but now I'm the first person. All right, I want you to get three bottles of oil and call okay. my U.S. number. Let me give you a prophetic action, okay? And do that in the next thirty minutes because in the next few hours I'll be I'll, I'll I'm going to Florida. Okay. The Lord bless you. So I'll be waiting for your call, sir. Okay, sir. Bless you, sir. Bless you, Nate. Now, can I talk to you, sir? Yes, sir. Mm, can I talk to you? Okay. You, when you call, I will tell you something, okay? Okay, sir. Bless you. Thank All right. you. All right. So, that's my last call. Huh? If you can still call, I'm going off. They said I should still hold on. Huh? The media people say I should still hold on. What's the time in Ghana? Okay, you are hold on. What's the time in Ghana? Let me know. What's the time in Ghana? What is the time in Ghana, please? What is the time in Ghana? What's the time? God bless you, Daddy. God bless you too. Right. God, God bless you, Christopher. I said that. Let me go. Let me go. I think that I have always seen men of God in my dreams. Gloria, oh, I'm Marco. Okay. What do you do? Okay. Living name ministry. God bless you, Master Prophet. Also, I'm coming to Oklahoma. <laughs> hey, they said I'll still come. I'll come before I go. Okay. I'm making sure of mine. I'm coming to Ghana shortly. But I'll suffer, I'll come. I'll suffer, James. I'll come. I'm coming to Oklahoma. I'm coming to Oklahoma. So for living name ministry, say I should come to Oklahoma. And my boss also say I should stop and come. So we'll see. We'll see what we'll do. I'll still make way for you, okay? Your wife is a good woman. So I'm going. Anybody who pray with me today, anybody whom I gave, I was inspired to give a word to. Uh, every good man of God might preach the gospel. After preaching the gospel, must lead people to sow seed, then lead you to pray. But I want to pray if you are sick, just type it, write it down. I want to pray for those who are sick, as I said earlier on. I want to pray for those who are sick. I want to pray for those who are sick. I want to pray for those who are sick. If you are sick, I want to pray for you before I go. The Lord bless you. And sow a seed. One thing about my people online, 530, okay. So I can take like 30 minutes. Six, they can still go to Amasama. That's good. So uh, in 20 minutes time, okay, I'll monitor it here. If, if you come online, charity, I want, I'm a health worker. You are a health worker. Okay. Keep, uh, Gloria, keep typing. I'm going to give you a prophecy. Uh, Gloria, who is Akos? Gloria, who is Akos? Who is Akos? Who is Akos? Gloria, Gloria, who am Who is Akos? So watch me. If, uh, charity, you don't like sowing seeds. Charity, Adepa. You, today, I want you to sow a seed on behalf of your child. That baby girl you are carrying. I want you to sow a seed on behalf of that baby girl right now. Augustine Moses. God bless you. Augustine, release a second. So can the media put the number there, the Momo number there? Can the media put the Momo number there? Please, I'm sick. Okay, the Lord will heal you. Delete that because the Lord will heal you. So, Charity, delete your comments. I've seen it. I'm going to pray for you. My friend is a cause. Okay. I want Char Charity, delete your comments right now. Delete it right now. So, that's what I see. And I'm going to pray for you. I'm praying for all of you. I'm going to talk to you after the broadcast. I'll call you after the broadcast. My US number, that's Charity. After my, the broadcast, give me 20 minutes. Call me. I'm going to pray for you. Call me, I'll pray for you. Call me after the broadcast. Okay, Gloria. Oh, I'm Marco. My friend is a coast. Okay. Gloria, has any man of God proposed to you? Are you married? Has any man of God proposed to you? I am in the Eastern region and I'm in the Asante region. So talk to me, Gloria. And I want the media to put the Momo number there. 
I want the media to put the Momo number there. Put the Momo number there. Man of God, I need your help. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. Hey, pages, I'll talk to you very soon. It's confirming a prophecy. All right, Momo number, God bless you. That is the name of Father. So Momo number, that is the Momo number there. I don't know what, t I don't know. Uh, it's wrong for your head pastor to repeat himself on the international platform. Everybody must be elect and everybody must know what he or she is doing. I'm also a Sunday. And so say you are the one. Of course, yeah. Gloria. So, so, so say you. When we give a prophecy, it starts immediately with you. It starts immediately with you. And be interactive, okay? I can still prophesy. Be interactive. So, Gloria. 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 Blah, blah, blah. Gloria. Amuako. Can you be interactive? Because I'm on you. If not, I'll just sign off. Gloria, I have men of God's friends. Gloria, speak with me. Who is the Akosia? So you are Akosia. Okay, are you married? Speak with me. Speak with me. Don't delay me, okay? So I want you to release a sacrifice. Everybody online, anything that touches your heart, I want you to release a sacrifice. I have orphanages. Let's push the work of God. I have men of God friends. Okay, that's why. Are you married? You are the Akosia, so are you married? Because answer that and let me tell you something. The Lord bless you. Somebody says, somebody says, talk to me. Man of God, I need your help. Mega bush. What kind of help? Talk to me. Write it down. What kind of help? Mega bush. Write it down. Mega bush. I'm sorry, Madeline. How are you? Well, right. please, yes, please. I'm married. Okay, that is fine. Do you have kids? We are interacting. Do you have kids? Gloria, do you have kids? If you have kids, is anybody still born on Sunday? Is anybody still born on Sunday? The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. Is anybody still born on Sunday? Gloria. And write speedily, fast for me. The Lord bless you. The Lord protect you in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. Gloria. Gloria. So, yeah, Papa, Papa, your son is here. Adams. How are you, Adams? I'm married, yes, and I'm asking that if you are married, I thank God for that. Do you have kids? If yes, is any of your kids born on Sunday? Because I'm seeing something in the Eastern region and Asante region. What is the connection, Gloria? Oh, I'm welcome. Then we can go. My people online are not interactive. The people online are not interactive. All right, so I think we've prayed. I'll wait for Gloria, then I will leave you. Today, Amasama will be awesome. I'll be there with you. If you're in Amasama area, I want you to connect with grace. I want you, please help me come out of my problem. Moses, what kind of problem was that? Can you share with us? I cannot help you, but Jesus will help you. Gloria, can you connect your prophecy? All right. Gloria is delaying, so I'll leave. Maybe, Gloria, you can come into my inbox. I'll speak with you. Maybe, Gloria, you can come into my inbox. I'll speak with you, okay? The Lord bless you. The Lord favor you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord be kind unto you. If you are friends in America, tell them that Prophet Nigel is in America. And I'm crossing over to Florida. If you are in Florida, follow the flyers on my pages. And I want you to connect with me. I should be in Florida from now, tomorrow, till Monday. And we're going to have a good time in Florida. We are going to have a good time in Florida. So connect with grace. 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 To all of you in Ghana, I thank God for your life. Uh, I bless God for your life. I appreciate all of you. And also for Richard, thank you so much. And I'm waiting for you to take me, come pick me to the barbering salon. I'm going to the barbers right now. And I have to cross over to Florida in the name of Jesus. One day you'll also be saying this. You'll be crossing over to New York, crossing over to America, crossing over to UK, crossing over around the world. If you're a man of God, child of God, believe it is possible. So till we meet again, I'm Master Prophet Nigel Gazi. I appreciate all of you. And I want you to know that it is not godly that if after accepting the gospel of Jesus, preaching and teaching, 
when a man of God blesses you, you have to release a sacrifice. That's what the Bible says. I want you to take the number, release any sacrifice that touches your heart. Release any sacrifice that touches your heart and grace will locate you. I want to pray for those who are sick. Father, wherever you are sick, put your hands there. I'm praying for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, distance to you is not a, a, a barrier. Anywhere across the world, anybody that is sick, in the eye, any part of their body, wherever they are held, I break the attack in the name of Jesus. I cast it by the fire of God. Break in the name of Jesus. Anybody in satanic crutches, anybody under satanic influence and attack, break in the name of Jesus. And I speak total healing. I speak total healing. I speak total protection in the name of Jesus. I declare you healed. I declare you protected and seasoned. And to all of you that receive negative prophecies in my oil and in my mandates, I swallow it and I overturn it and I decree that it is cancelled forever. And to all of you that receive the good and positive prophecies, I see it coming to pass in the name of Jesus. In the fullness of time, I see all coming to pass in Jesus' name. Above all, I commit you into the hands of God, according to the book of Jude, unto he that is able to preserve you and keep you and present you faultlessly. May he keep you and present and preserve you. I bless all who are connected to my covenants. I bless all who are connected to the altar of prophetic Hill church. I bless you, those who are believing God for safe delivery. May it happen. Those who are pregnant, I season you, season the children, season the kids in the name of Jesus. Any attack on any pregnancy, I curse it. Any attack on any woman labor, I curse it in the name of Jesus. Anybody who is watching me, whom they have sat on your destiny, they have sat on your promotion, I curse it by the power of God. Anybody whose destiny has been stolen, star has been stolen, attack, break in the name of Jesus. I bless all of you. I bless you. Be healed and be blessed. Be healed and be blessed. Be healed and be blessed. Those of you who are believing God for release of prophetic mantles, release of prophetic grace, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive a double portion by fire in the name of Jesus. Let your ears be open, your eyes be open. I change your tongue into the fire of the Holy Ghost. I change your lips, your mouth into fire. When you curse, let it be cursed. When you bless, let it be blessed. I cover you, I bless you. I pray for all the kings. I pray for all the leadership. I pray for all the elder deacons, men, women, everybody connected to my life. I season you by the fire of God. I pray for Mama Yeshua, I pray for Mama Big, I pray for Mr. Tete, Mr. Abbe. I pray for everybody in the name of Jesus. All the pastors, I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I season you and your children, your home. In the name of Jesus, by covenant, I protect all my workers. I cover you in the name of Jesus. I decree that there will not be any harm that will come around you. Even when you are connected to this covenant, I pray. For my church members, for those of you online, the Bible says in Psalm 91 that the Lord God will keep his angel charge over you and no harm will, and will come into your dwelling place. No plague. I decree that it is established in the name of Jesus. You are celebrated. You have come to the place of honor. You have come to the place of plains. You have come to the place of breakthrough. And your fellow grounds have been broken. God bless you. Till I meet you again, Hannah said the prophetic is real. Guilty Gazy, God bless you. I miss all of you. I love all of you. Lema, Lema, good news. God bless all of you. To all the men of God, women of God, I appreciate all of you. So, so we meet again at Master Prophet Nigel Gezi. If you still want to call me, just give me about 10 minutes and you can call me. Uh, just, of course, your name, Nora, God bless you, you know. We've been friends. I love you. I love you. My classmates, my general as two, general as two Abuakwa State classmates. God bless you and your wife, husband, and the children. How many children do you have now? Nora and him. How many children do you have? Nora. Wow. We are all big men now and women. Christopher, God bless you. Favor, God bless you. Man, God bless you. Moses, God bless you. To all of you who are behind, you've not clicked for us to see. I appreciate all of you. Me, I mean, Cerulean, God bless you. I'll be coming there very soon. Okay, Gloria, I want you to inbox me and let's have a good time. Nancy, God bless you. Richard, I'm sorry, Richard. God bless you. Juliana. My favorite daughter, Juliana Gezi, I love you like toffee. I love you. 
I love you too much. I love you, Juliana Gacy. Uh, next year, by this time, you'll be married, and I'll take off all your wedding gown and the rest. Juliana Gacy, the most annoying. I always see men of God in my dream. Gloria will talk, okay? Just inbox me. God bless you. So, my, okay, my God. My, Mega Bush, God bless you. Nana Adam, God bless you. God bless you. In America, they say, God bless you. <laughs> so, I leave. I'm Nigel Gazi till we connect again. I remain your master servant. It's been wonderful having you worship with us. God bless you. Ready? Keep connecting with us. There you write, Yehua. Thank you, my handlers. I appreciate you. Thank you. So, till we meet again, all of you, I give prophetic action to connect with me on WhatsApp. Just give me 10, 15 minutes to rest. And uh, you can break your fast if you're in Ghana. In America, I have some more hours to go. And it's 3.44 in America. So that's 3.22 in America. The woman that called from Chicago connect with me. Hannah, I miss you. How is Owusua? My love to Owusua. And today, all of you should go to the Amasamai. Go and pray. Go and pray. And I'm cutting short my, my, my stay because... My spiritual father says I should cut off the stay and en route to UK for a program. He said I should come and have a program for him. So I'm coming to UK. I'm coming to United Kingdom. Grace is bringing me. So I'll be in Maryland. I have a program in Maryland. I will still do that one. I'm going to I'm going to see what we'll do. So I'll still be in Maryland. I'll still be this weekend. I'm in Florida. To all my prayer members, to all my prayer team, keep me in prayers. That the Lord will let my words come to pass. The Lord will let me be a blessing. And Florida will open up to us. Florida will open up to me. Florida is one good place. It will open up to me. So keep me in prayer. The guy, somebody is calling again. I'm, I'm on air. Let me, I'm closing. I'm closing on air. Call me in 10 minutes, please. Thank you. All right, so you can, if you have any brother, any sister in Europe, you can let them connect with me. My numbers are there. And if you have ever come on my line, I want you to follow me on YouTube. My YouTube is doing so well. Follow me on YouTube. And yesterday, thousands, thousands of messages have not been answered. Spam. Today, all your messages will be answered because my administration is going to reply all your messages. I apologize for the delay. A lot of thousands of people have sent me messages, hundreds of people, and it was in my inbox. In the spam and the rest. And I, I mean, uh, so I'm, they're going to sit down right now to answer all of you. To my media, you do a great job, Nakoshi, and all of you. I love all of you, and I miss all of you. Pastor Gosway, I love you. Don't disappoint, okay? I love all of you. Pastor Albert, I know you not come online. It's normal. I know them, right? so it's normal. May the Lord bless him. I know. Yes, I know he will not come, so don't worry. Gifty, I saw you. Emilia, I saw you. If you do good, you do for yourself. Like I said, I follow a covenant, and I followed it well, and it's doing well for me. So if you follow me well, it will do well for you. It's your option, and it's for you and your children. So I bless all of you. Thank you so much. Moses, a prophet, I saw you in my dream today. Help me out, and you pray for me in my dream. Okay, inbox me. So till we meet again, I'm Nigel Gacy. You can call me PNG for short. God bless you. God bless you. To all the men of God that watch later, that I watch, I appreciate you. So I am out. So we connect again. It's Yehovah, and we respond by saying, He is the strength of our life. You are the best of the Lord. And don't forget that. Don't forget that you are the best of the Lord. Don't forget that you are the best of the Lord. I know maybe so not come online. I know, I know them. I, I know, I know she'll never come online. But as I she's asleep, and I know, I know when I see good people, I know when I see bad people, I know. So those who want to do well, thank you. I'm out, I'm my young baby, and there is music, and God bless you. You can call me in 10 minutes time. I wish you well. So the media, I want you to start working on when your battle is from home, because all our speakers are set, and the singers are set, venue is set, heaven is ready, I'm ready. We just have to do some fasting, and I'll release money. So I want, I want the teasers to start first day of august first day of august first the first day of august pastor gosu and your team i want the teasers to start first we we are doing two months we're going to have about one thousand or two thousand posters and we're going to take about 20 or 30 billboards so start start the billboard give me the budget and i got it covered 
Love from New York. Love you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Oh,